afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome to Abandon Ship. Or welcome back to Abandon Ship, I suppose. It's very rare I actually get excited like this is about a game. Like, because I just get exposed to so many games in general, like, even games I quite like, they very often just kind of pass me by a little bit. Like, I quite enjoyed, say, Horizon Zero Dawn, but after I played it for, like, a few hours in an afternoon and made a couple of videos out of it, like, I hadn't thought of it since. It just kind of completely slipped my memory. But Abandoned Ship... Abandoned Ship... Let's just go over to an actual thing here. Abandoned Ship is one of those rare games where I actually ended up... Really looking forward to it. I've had my eye on this one for absolutely flipping ages. I know I say that a lot, but seriously, this one from the very first moment I heard about it, when they said, yeah, basically, we want to make FTL. We want to make it with, like, pirate ships and stuff. It's like, yes, yes. <laughs> um, and then we finally got our hands on it earlier this week, and I made a video. And I kept thinking about it, so I kind of just want to play it again. So we only got halfway through the combat demo in the video. So I kind of just want to start again in the combat demo and see if we can actually make it to the end. Because I'm wondering if the final boss of the combat demo might just be a sea monster. I'm kind of hoping it might be a sea monster. And just quickly, let's give Claire, or rather, let's give myself the screen so I remember that Claire occasionally has to be allowed to talk. Yes, please. Yes, that's very important. There we go, that's the thing. Everyone's saying the, oh, hello. Have we got a bit of a warning going on here? Is anyone saying anything about this? We've got a very rare warning being flashed up well, by YouTube. No, that's... <sighs> Claire doesn't know how headphones work. I don't sound like that anyway. Hang on, let's see what we've got here. Probably should we're not receiving video data at a fast enough rate. Why are we not receiving video data at a fast enough rate? Oh, Moneybean says it didn't show up in her sub box. Uh, how many people have we got present and correct today? Uh, 300 and... Yeah, that's not enough. 300 does feel low. I saw it in my sub box, which was unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I saw it in mine too, which is why, you know. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, stream stats? Okay, variable resolution stream. Okay, it, that possibly is just because that YouTube has just changed its system. Like, I used to set the resolution. It used to be there for I could cap it, and I capped it at 720. Um, what resolutions are you seeing available on the stream um... right now? Hang on. We just Before we get kick in, we'll actually get the... 720 available, but it put me in 480 automatically. Okay. That doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world. I think that's probably okay. Um, just, like, start yelling if the quality is absolutely abysmal or the resolution drops to appallingly low, like 480 and 360 or something, and we'll see if we can, like, poke things. <laughs> um, it looks to me like we're... Yeah, we have a few people saying it was in their feed, but also some people saying they came from Twitter or they got a notification on their phone. Mm-hmm. So... Okay. Uh, well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. It looks like it's, it's, it does look like it's clearly ticking up, but then that might just be off Twitter and what have you. Fine. Uh, sadly, there's no way we really have to verify that, which is unfortunate, because we don't actually, like, have a... You know, YouTube doesn't give you a special tool saying, yeah, it's definitely been pushed. It's kind of my fault because I do these things last minute, um, which is largely the reason we often start a few minutes late and very last minute is very often because, like, up to, like, five, ten minutes before a live stream begins, I'm working on something else. I was literally recording Total War Warhammer 2 up to, like, five minutes before this stream began. That's why. Um, okay, now that's saying up to good, which is marvellous, so that's fine. Hopefully now we've actually got a little bit better resolutions going on. So that's now flagging that's back up to good. I don't know if yeah. why we said that earlier. We're just under 500 people. Yeah. Which does seem like, you know... You you know the figures better than me. Like, do we normally get a few more people during it, or do we? is it often the slow at the beginning? Well, we get a few more people during it, you know, but... Mm-hmm. Mm, I think it's rising now, like after you've announced it in yeah. various social platforms rather than mm -hmm. after it came in some boxes. Well, that's fine. Let's let's just start moving in the right direction anyway. We've definitely seen it's appeared in some people's sub boxes. So, welcome to Abandon Ship. Abandoned Ship is a game about, well, ideally about not abandoning ship. Abandoned Ship's actually a thing you don't want to do. It's like if you called Mario falling into a pit. Uh, <laughs> literally, it's the epitome of the thing you don't want to do. Uh, but, and I can't, can't show you this bit. That bit's a secret. I've been told not to click on that. Oh, it's just, it's just, no, don't. Um, don't click on that bit. I was asked not to show off the intro or tutorial yet. That's a secret for the time being. All I can do is the combat demo. And I assume it's all partly randomised. So let's actually... Ooh, that's a good point. In this game, you can rename everything. So we oh, can rename great. all the crew. So the crew are up for grabs here. 
So no. guys, you can you can die in the stream today. If you'd like to die in the stream or otherwise be involved, yes, that's fine. And I should also flag, this is all alpha. This isn't even an early access yet. This is the earliest they've allowed it to be seen. Uh, adjust expectations accordingly. Uh, so, I just want to manage my crew quickly. And yeah, we've got our usual group here. We've got ourselves uh, the captain. We've got ourselves the gunner. We've got ourselves the sailor who's the repair guy. And we've got ourselves the navigator. Everyone can do anything, but as you can see, they can, like, if it's their specialization, they're allowed to get up to five out of five, whereas their other skills can be four out of five. And they start with one extra skill point, which I assume just means they do it a bit faster. I haven't actually seen this. Uh, but high reload skill will reload weapons at an improved rate. So I'm assuming it just means he can reload guns faster than other people. That makes sense. Uh, so the captain's name is not Marshall. The captain's name is John. Unless, of course, the chat feels like the captain's name should be Claire, which I imagine they, they will do. But yes, people, you can now get your requests in for we've got ourselves a gunner to name, a sailor to name, and a navigator to name. So if anyone wants to kind of jump in with some suggestions about uh, suggestions for that, that is absolutely up for grabs right now. And while we just wait for people to throw their suggestions at you, Claire, I imagine you've got a few things to point out. Yes, absolutely. Shout out to... Uh, um... Well, this has started well. Sorry, there's a there's a person whose username like doesn't use uh, doesn't use any vowels, and I remember trying to pronounce it in a funny way last week, and then they pointed out what the name was, and it was really obvious once mm -hmm. it was done. Anyway, never mind. Shout out to mostly caffeine who gave us ten quid and said hi there. I think the question I asked last week um, uh, might have been a bit over identifying. By way of apology, here's the average cost of a goddamn sandwich in Oxford. Um, yeah, it was about John's school, so yes. you know, we didn't want to say yeah. it. But uh, thank you, and sorry you didn't get your shout-out last week. Mm -hmm. um, shout-out to Stuart, who uh, gave us £5, and says, As Virgin Media has decided, no one near me gets solid internet today. Have this now in case I miss most of the stream. I hope uh, it gets fixed. Uh, I hope it gets fixed for you. And uh, shout-out also to Anna, who gave us $5. And said, John, the shop didn't have any Jaffa cakes, so I bought Jammy Dodgers instead. Tragic. Right, go over to the names. Go over to the names, Claire. We must have names some suggestions in the names, names for now. There. there you go. We do have loads of suggestions for the name. Yeah. Um, do, do, do. Let's see. Um, Claire's now picking out her favourite suggestions for the names here. Well, no, we just have suggestions both in the chat and in the super chat, so I'm picking a bit from both. Excellent. Um, <laughs> a shout out to Money Bean who gave us five euros and says uh, and asks whether Bean can die today. I'm terrified of the sea, so it would be lovely. Excellent. As you're terrified of the sea, but you can be the actual sailor and actually need to handle the sailing. Good old Bean. Uh, uh, also, shout out to David, who gave us $10 and said, uh, please name a sailor after me. Excellent. David, you can be on the guns. David yeah, can and, be on the uh, guns. Of course, the chat is pointing out that the uh, correct captain for the ship should be Tabby. Done. <laughs> Captain Tabby. Obviously. Captain Tabby. There we go. Captain Tabby. Uh, in the chat, Parish uh, sent a message saying, I want to die on a pirate ship today. Who said that? Parish. Parish, as in a no, village. No, they're not the captain. That's still Tabby. Oh, sorry, that I clicked on the wrong. I thought I'd, I thought I selected this person. Rutherford can can be can be Parish instead, yeah. and the captain is indeed. Sorry, Parish, you don't get to be captain. Tabby gets to be captain. Yeah, obviously. I'm not sure Tabby would like being on a ship which is surrounded by water and exploding things, but we'll just have to kind of make do with that. So. <laughs> Right, there's our starting crew. We'll see how that kind of works out for us. There will be, we'll be hiring more crew and crew will be dying as we go along. So there'll be plenty more opportunities. Right, no need to go to port immediately. Best to dive into battle. So you don't need to go to port a certain number of times. So uh, yeah, after this point, you'll have a limited number of times. Actually, you can, you can actually go to port immediately. Ah, okay. So this apparently is a freebie. I may as well go to port now just to actually see if any good upgrades show up. Because you start off with 175 on the gold. So just on the off chance something good happens to be available immediately. A basic crow's nest. I think I've already got a... Do I know what I have? Yeah, I've already got a basic crow's nest, so I'm not sure why I'd be allowed to buy one of those. Uh, heavy hull armor, so basically reduces hull damage by 20%. Uh, automatic water pumps. Uh, water isn't that much of a problem. Hand-operated winch pulls crew that have been not aboard. I think I've got one of those already. I think this ship starts off with a... Yeah, the ship already starts off with a winch. That's fine. 
and supplies aren't a problem in this case. I could give myself uh, improved sick bays or a third sail or yeah, maneuver bar filling up faster. And actually giving myself a mortar early on isn't a bad. Oh, an acid bomb. Acid bomb. Acid bomb. Hang on. Air oh effect God, lasts for a short you're gonna time. You're going to catch everything on like weird acid fire or something. Weird... What is acid fire? I don't know. But this is why you're it. not allowed to manage the acid bombs. <laughs> Crew and air effect damage over time. No hollow section damage. I wouldn't mind just a normal mortar. Uh, I think I might just buy a normal mortar immediately and just shove that in the middle. Because the mortars are quite useful just for really long range fire. So I'm going to buy one mortar. And I think that'll do for that. And then I'm just going to see if I can maybe buy one more crew member. Because having an extra crew member immediately isn't a bad idea. Uh, we've got George who's a marine specialist at fighting. I wouldn't mind just having an extra gunner. Yeah, I'm going to buy one extra gunner. He costs... Actually, gunners are quite expensive. Which is probably why, because they're quite good. Uh, yeah, having an extra gunner is not a bad idea. So we've got one more gunner to name. So does anyone else jump in with things they wanted to actually be... Uh, have actual naming going on there? Sorry. Yes? Sorry, I'm reading the chat. Uh, did anyone else have any uh, things they wanted naming? So we got one more crew member I just picked up from the tavern. Uh, yeah, a few people have uh, nominated Bacon. Bacon! Excellent. Uh, I think I need to visit tavern, visit local shops for parent grade. I think I need to do that next time we pass into port. Oh no, I can manage my crew now. Fine. Bacon is indeed allowed to come along as gunner number two. So let's get out to sea. That should be fine. Close the journal and to battle. So, let's kick things off here. Ooh. Yeah. So, welcome to Abandoned Ship. In case you missed the video, basically, this is my ship, and this is their ship up there. You can see the sections up here. So, cannon, cannon, their sail, uh, their med bay, and the helm. Basically, we are at a set distance from each other. I'm happy at the distance I currently am for the time being. Distance determines all sorts of things. That's distance over there. So I can try and pull closer to them, but if they decide they want to actually be like pulled away from me, then there's not much I can do for the time being because I need to basically cripple their sails or their helm in order to stop them move maneuvering. Uh, unless, of course, I had just have to have the faster ship for whatever reason. Weapons have different range. So my basic cannon is just really basic low-level stuff. They can hit anyone at any range. Now I need to, as a starting point, just basically get my people where I want to be. So I want one of my gunners on my actual specialist thing. Because this over here is my chain shot. It specializes in taking out uh, the enemy sails. So I can actually start moving around. I'm guessing in the final game there's going to be different ships that start off with different loadouts. So this ship just happens to be well qualified for dealing with all of this. So you're going up to there. You're going over to here. Uh, that's fine. I need you to... Actually, the navigator needs to come and handle this. The captain needs to come and handle that. And you might as well handle the mortar. So everyone now just starts moving around. Is everyone where I want them to be? I think everyone... No, I kind of want you to, to manage the ship. There we are. Someone's actually managing the ship. Right now, they are not attempting to move towards me. So that's all absolutely fine. Uh, I may as well see if they're willing to engage. No, they're not. So I'm trying to move up to close to them, but they're moving away from me. So until my cannons are all kind of charged, we can take out something on their ship. There's nothing we can do in that regard. This over here, by the way, is anti-crew. But until we're close, we can't actually use AC. That's only for uh, rank one and two of distance. Uh, we can also, by the way, I didn't do this in the thing. Yeah, save the position my crew is on the ship and then return to the safe positions. So this is a good position. So I'm going to save that position right there. So now we can just basically start charging up all of the cannons. And now we just prepare for the first volley. So the first volley is going to be as soon as this thing's ready to go. That is going to be... Boom! Looks like they're trying to take out that gun. Okay, so they fired one shot over here at that rear gun and done a little bit of damage. And also slightly damaged the guy who was operating that gun. But that's all absolutely fine. Their shield, no, their shield, they don't have a shield. We're not playing FTL. This is like FTL, but not actually FTL. Their sail has taken some damage. You can see up there because it's yellow. So my sail's full strength and their sail isn't. So now, as a result, I can actually start closing the distance on them because I'm now more maneuverable than they are. Now that's stopped because they've managed to actually uh, heal that up for the time being. Probably the best thing I can do as a starting point, just because we're just kind of peppering each other lightly with fire at the minute, is just concentrate all my firepower over in this sort of an area, at that sort of area. So hit, 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 and also a mortar shot. So we've just done a bunch of damage to them. We've kind of done a little bit of damage to their guns, a little bit of damage to their crew. And momentarily, the actual chain shot will be back off cooldown, and we can get a shot in at their cells again. Once that's done, 
That will pull them back down to yellow. Yeah, they're continuing to fire over here. They're determined to take out the back. We are now into range two. Now that we're up to range two, intelligence goes up. So guns that could only be used at range two, like this thing up here, are now available. So I might change over to Grape Shot momentarily to start seeing if I can knacker their crew. Because I've got five mo because I've got five crew members and they've only got three. Uh, so potentially just going for a great big Oh nice. And now that's done a bit of good damage. And now go over to there, start taking that out as well. They're trying to get their shield fixed up, but they just can't for the time being. They're struggling. There's a good mortar shot. And now also take that out. Now. I'm going to bring my sailor over to the grape shot. I'm going to keep them crippled. Their sail's completely screwed. Uh, we're just getting closer and closer and closer. And now we can start taking them out. The actual health, by the way, is that's their health and that's our health. There's also a water meter if either, if either of us actually had like a... Yeah, there we are. Very conveniently, there's a bloody leak immediately. Uh, so probably as soon as I fire my next actual uh, shot at their sails, I'll move that over to actually doing some repairing. So, in a moment, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, yeah, there we go, right. Fire that, and now you go and fix that up. Uh, now, what I also want to do, probably, is I want to basically have this not auto-fire. That thing's ready to fire whenever... Wait, don't even fire that. I think I didn't fire that. <laughs> right, you, get back over to here, because I think I didn't actually bother firing that. Uh, there we go! Now it's fired. So their cell's still screwed, so they can't get away from me. The grape shot's ready to go, so now I should be able to... Boom! They are now very, very badly damaged. Two of their crew members have to run to their sick bay at the front of the ship. And also, they've got a <laughs> medic on board. So that's all fine. Am I auto-firing right now? Apparently, I'm still auto-firing. I didn't really want to auto-fire, but okay. Um, probably the best thing I can do is you, actually. Captain, move over to the mortar. Just continue laying some suppressing fire on them. But for the most part, we just want to... It's going to be quite hard to kill them, unfortunately. Just because, yeah, we've actually got the issue of... Uh, if I just kind of get up close to them, I am actually ready to do a ram, but a ram would probably sink them. I'd rather capture the ship if I can. So I'm going to move right over to point blank range. They've got no one on guns right now, which works for me. They're just desperately trying to repair their extremely badly damaged ship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for one second. Now, what I'm going to do next is... Now that we're... I'm going to fire a mortar, which feels a little bit uh, ridiculous, but there we go. Uh, fire and fire and then as soon as that's done i'm also just gonna keep taking down this thing i think we're allowed this is allowed to fire at point blank range uh yeah why not boom so now that's gonna come down boom and now just take out you as well and then once that's done everyone's basically just gonna go across their ship boom now i'm gonna send my captain over i'm gonna send my gunner over as well i'm gonna keep this guy on the grape shot i'm gonna send my other gunner over as well so basically, I'm going to send... It's going to be three versus two, and I'm going to have the support of my actual... And now everyone's just running around trying to stab each other. Um, and now things get a bit confusing, because it's very hard to tell exactly who belongs to who. I think my captain's taking on their captain, and I think we're all fine. It gets a little bit on the confusing side. The ship is ours. Marvellous. So the ship, the ship falls to us, and as a result of the ship falling to us without being sunk, we actually get bonus scrap, which will be useful for selling. And there we go. I fought one battle. There are nine to go. Do we should continue on to the next combat or visit port? No reason to visit port immediately. Instead, we can probably just move straight on. Before we do, I need to give a little pause between each battle to let Care catch up. Because it's a little bit intensive and uh, manic, this game. So, oh, yeah, yes. Uh, thank you to uh, the people who pointed out in chat that this person's username uh, is Ringworld Engineer. Yeah. Because um, I couldn't remember what vowels it was. Um... So um, <laughs> they gave us two dollars and just said good morning. Um, good, good morning to you too. Yes. Uh, shout out to Ella who gave us five pounds um, and said um, uh, that if we're naming the crew after people, she calls shotgun. So I'm going to put your name in the list for sure. Um, Tyler's in the chat says abandoned ship drinking game. Take a shot every time John calls the sales shields. Yeah, guys, don't do that. Don't, yeah, it's, it's very, it's a, very ill. It's a bad idea. It's a mm -hmm. bad idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, um, <clears throat> incendiary war pig uh, was asking if there's any updates on the situation with Patreon. I saw on MATN subreddit that they are removing the fees. Yeah, they've pretty much backed down in their entirety for now. Obviously, they've said they are going to have to make some changes at some point, but next time it'll be a lot more collaborative. So I will absolutely kind of, you know, shoulder my way to being involved when that happens. So it's it's been a good it's been a good victory that it's been an excellent victory that they were trying to do something that was not popular and we were able to work together to get it to get them to back down. 
It's yeah, good. and they've also been sending emails out to people who. Yeah, um, they have to. They have to their yeah. credit been working hard to try and undo the damage they've done. They haven't just backed down. They've fully acknowledged fault, apologized, and are now trying to fix. Mm. So you know, due credit to them for that. Uh, shout out to Jeremy who gave us five dollars and said, um, "So I assume we won't be seeing you um, jumped out of the Pridwin with power armor in Fallout for VR." Oof! Ooh, no, no, terrible idea. Also, love you both. I'm off to work, so I can't watch. Oh. Okay, so I've just started off the next battle here, just so we can start seeing what's going on. And as you can see, because I saved crew positions, they now automatically start in those positions, and everybody's already healed up. They're just assumed to have healed between battles, so you don't need to bother taking care of that. Now, on this occasion, it would appear that they want to move away from us. I can immediately see they've got one gunner, one captain, and two marines. So, boarding them's not necessarily a good idea. We might want to keep our distance. In fact, actually, are they trying to move away from us? They are trying to move away from us. That's interesting. Because, yeah, with two marines, you'd think they'd want to try and board us rather than the other. But, okay, if that's what they want to do, let's just move a little bit closer. We might be able to do a fair bit of fire on this occasion. One gunner, but this time they've got multiple guns. And I assume, looks to me like one of their gunners is on the helm. But, yeah, well, at this distance, it's kind of hard to tell. Their captain's on one set of guns. Their gunner's on the other. So, we can lay down more fire on them than they can on us the time being. Sorry, Claire, carry on. Yeah, shout out to Sal who uh, gave us two dollars and said that this is for the upside down fish from this desert, desert bus. Sorry. The upside down fish was a thing, okay? That's just a thing that makes sense. Yeah, sure. Sure, it definitely makes sense. Uh, it does. Shout out to Anthony, our regular who uh, does marathon running, who gave us $5 and said, uh, I was waiting for the stream to start so I could go run five miles in the snow. Yay. Looking forward to John setting his boat on fire. Yeah, totally. Me too. Uh, also, uh, j'adore Claire, which means I love Claire. So. Oh, well, that's just lovely. It is, isn't it? They are very lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to USJ Manion who gave us two dollars and said if we get a marine we should name him Evil John. <laughs> so uh, I put that on the list as well. Having a marine would not be the worst thing in the world. That would certainly be entirely possible. Mm -hmm. Tove Pie gave us uh, five dollars and said hi John and Claire. I'm lying around sick but this stream should help me feel better. Also can you name a crew member after Dragon Age Origins? <laughs> Remind me of that if the if it yeah, becomes yeah, available yeah. as an option. I see no reason why not. Uh, I'm going to check with them like what what would be a good Dragon Age origin name and put that. There was a the fire list. there briefly for a second. You probably saw there was a brief fire, so they needed to put that out. But obviously, weather is a big thing in this game. So, ooh, yep, you guys are starting to take some good damage there. Let's just keep those sails down. Keep the sick bay damaged if we can. Yeah, their sick bay is actually their sick bay seems to be healing itself. Possibly that guy's trying to heal it. I'm not sure. Right. Keep the cells down. The thing is, they have to try and repair their cells because cells are so important. So as long as their cells are damaged and we continue to fire on their cells, they're stuck kind of constantly having to waste a crew member trying to do that. We haven't taken much bad damage there. And momentarily, we'll actually have... Ooh, we've got some good shots in. Right. Momentarily, I'll actually have my... There we go. I've actually got my first actual grape shot in. And the grape shot is going to do loads of good damage. Boom. In fact, actually, I think we just killed one of them. Yeah, they're down to three. So we've got to hit over there. I'm going to retarget my cannons actually on this area. See if I can take that guy out. Well, I've crippled the um, the enemy sick bay. So destroyed, broken until repaired. So that guy cannot currently heal himself. Uh, keep on this. I think that guy is... What are you doing? Are you trying to repair right now? That guy is... Yeah, he's repairing. So right now, this ship is not firing on us. This ship is not firing upon us because they literally... They can't. Um, because what they're doing is they're basically stuck trying to repair the sails and also repair the sick bay because one of them's very, very badly injured. So they're also almost dead already. I think I can actually... No, they've managed to get the sick bay officially, you know, fixed up enough. They can actually carry on. Boom! Right, that's almost screwed. Continue firing. Those guys have now clumped together. And if we're lucky, yeah, we've screwed their sick bay. And if we're very, very lucky indeed, we might just be able to also continue firing on their sails. Sails completely dead. Uh, with their sails completely down, I may as well move this guy off uh, the actual chain shot. Because they're not actually doing anything else right now. I'm going to move him back onto the mortar instead. 
They are badly, badly damaged at this point. I'm going to actually get a couple of shots in with my cannon before I fight. Yep, there we go. And now, for very lucky, we might be able to kill them. Yes, come on, mortar shot to finish them off. And let's see if the mortar can finish off some of them. Oh, yes, I think it finished off more than some of them. I think it just blew up the whole ship. There we go. That was pretty good. We've taken some very light taps, but we're okay for now. Sadly, because on that occasion, we couldn't quite actually board and take them out. I was hoping to actually take out the med bay and them, so we get nothing but 64. Marvellous. Claire, back over to you. Yeah, a shout out to Urban Cohort, who uh, gave us $50. Thank you very much Oh, thank much you so, so much for that. Uh, <laughs> they said $10 to the Cult of Claire, $10 to the John God. The rest of it is for Tabby's food. No. Yes. Maybe you can use it to buy her, like, Christmas, cat Christmas presents. That is true, because it's going to just be me and Tabby in a little bit. You're nothing off to France for a few days. Yeah, well, so I'll it's going to be me and Tabs. Christmas. It's going to be me and Tabs hanging out together. And I've already bought her a, a cat Christmas stocking full of treats. That is so. true. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, shout out to uh, our friend Sir Roderick Quincy Fonson, on the bottom, the magnificent hiking of Australia. Absolutely. Who gave us five Australian dollars and said, "Good morning, Tabby Incorporated, requesting one body double, please." <laughs> also, John, in your des desert bus VR, you were cut off from your rant on the Trojan War. Please resume. I'm not sure it was a rant. Wasn't it just discussing how it was very interesting that basically the Trojan War is famously ten years long, yet basically nothing happens in the first nine years. Everything happens in that final one year. The first nine years are totally uninteresting and nothing happens in them. The ships arrive and there's a bit of a battle on the beach the Iliad makes a vague mention to. Then nothing happens for nine years. No one of any great significance dies for nine years. It's very odd. Uh, uh, and a quick shout out, uh, well, uh, also sent me a badger just uh, sent in a uh, hundred dollars. So thank you very, Oh, thank very you much so, so much. That. Uh, so you get to cut John off right there from starting the battle. You do. Uh, does anyone know what the decorative dot in currency means? Uh, I'm on holiday the rest of the year, not feeling fancy, so I didn't use it this time. Happy holidays and thanks for the great content this year. The, the what? The decorative dot? In currency? I'm not sure. Does he refer to the decimal point? Well... Shh. I mean, if he wants to send us ten thousand dollars, I mean, yeah. he probably can't because there's like a cap limit uh -huh. daily. Um, and also, please don't send us that much money. No, do, do. <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrifying. Anyway, uh... <laughs> you're the worst donation reader. <laughs> I mean. Oh dear. Anyway, I think I think you're feeling a tiny bit delicate today after the YouTube party last night, aren't you? I think I've been coming down with something for a couple of days. Actually, my throat's. Well, as, as those of you who I follow me on stresses. Twitter will be, be aware, we were at YouTube's actual Christmas party last night. It was dreadful. They well, they they cannot put on a party to save their lives. Yeah, and I don't feel delicate because of that party because we had one drink because there was too much queuing at the bar. Yeah, so. and you want you asked for a G and T and they didn't have tea. For well, the G. to be fair, I do drink gin and tonic with lemonade on a fairly regular basis. Like, I like gin and tonic with lemonade. I didn't mind. It's just that there wasn't much gin in the gin and lemonade. Yeah. Meanwhile, so. my mojito was weirdly too strong. Yeah. Oh. Well, I should have had that. <laughs> yeah, but it was unpleasantly so. Cause you didn't get any of this. There was none of the sweetness and none of the mint. You didn't get any of the mint or any of it. It was. It just tasted like, just like spirits with a bit of mixer. It. It didn't. It wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Anyway, what it looks like we've got here is here. We've got a captain, a navigator, a sailor. They've got a medic. So taking out this ship by virtue of actually eliminating these guys is going to be difficult. They've also got... That's basically a monstrosity. This is a cultist ship, which means they can basically send a monstrosity over to swim over to us when they would like to. And um, we just have to fight that guy. So that's just basically a way of distracting us. So basically, it's, it's the equivalent of a teleporter. It's the equivalent of a teleporter in this game. So we got to watch out for him. He'll be swimming over at some point or other. But if we can weaken him ahead of time by, say, actually, they're trying to get up close to us, which is interesting. Um, if I move into rank two, I'll be able to actually see what's going on. But I've just actually done some damage to their... Oh, yeah, they're firing something. I don't think I can actually see what it is, though. At this range, I can't actually see what's going on. They clearly want to come up to us, which probably means I don't want to actually, like, you know, be too close to them. 
I think that side was the one that's fired. Um, you know what? I'll just fire some cannons over here and just lay some supporting fire in this sort of a position. I'm just going to fire everything. No, you need to... I always click the wrong button there. Also, actually, no. I can actually hit more people... I think you can hit more people like this, but I'd rather concentrate my fire. There we go. Now I'll fire the mortar. Right, they're firing. Oh, Right, that's totally a flaming thing. They've got some form of special firing thing. I'm going to accept their invitation and move up to range two with them. So now I can actually see what I'm taking on here. So they've got standard round shot. Fine, that's just a basic cannon over here. What have they got? Flaming cannon. Chance of causing fires, low damage to hull and to sections, but can cause fires. Fine, so they have a flaming cannon. But interestingly, it does appear to be have the range. I'm not sure why they're trying to pull up to range. I'm guessing they're only trying to pull up to range because they actually want to board us, which is interesting because they actually don't have anyone appropriate to board. Uh, this guy's already taken a bit of a knock from one of their cannons. Uh, David is a bit injured at the minute. Let's just actually take out there. Now I've actually seen that, I think I might actually prefer to back out a little bit. So I'm going to pull away from them for the time being. And we're just going to see if we can just, yeah, nail those cannons at the rear. Just kind of keep our fire on their cannons. They are desperately trying to... There we go. That's in a bit of damage, but they're trying to fix it up. Um, I think I'm happy in... Hmm. Would I rather stay close and lay them with the fire? You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to stay at rank 2. I'm going to put this right down here because this can do loads of damage. And now I'm going to move... Uh, the Sailor was Bean, wasn't I think the Sailor was Bean. Um, I'm going to move Bean over to the Grape Shop. And that's good. And as soon as I lay some more fire... That's fires. Uh, the fires did not take on this occasion. Continuing lay control. Oh, that's good. That's their cells completely boned for the time being. Right. I'm going to move this guy down to the mortar because the cells... Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. Right. So, we got ourselves one person swimming over towards us. The captain should be able to take him on one-on-one. -on -one. So, if need be, just basically we'll just lay down some fire over here. Right, take him on. And now, together, we should be able to slaughter that guy. So, at this point now, I just want to start laying down some suppressing fire. There's three of them standing right next to each other over there. That's pretty darn good. I'm going to lay down some supporting fire onto their... Yeah, onto their actual med bay. I'm going to do... I'm going to lay this fire right over here. That weapon's not ready to go yet. It will be momentarily... That is fine. We barely took any damage there. So I'm going to just move my captain straight back down onto the cannons because we're almost ready to go there. That's fine. Oh, in come the fires. We did start one fire. Right. I'm going to drop that over there. Then I'm going to get this gunner onto... I'm going to get the gunner over here. I'm going to get the sailor to go and put out the fire. Uh, so that's fine. That shouldn't start a fire. So I'm just going to swap that round. Their med bay is... Oh, the fire's spreading. Fire does spread, which is like, you know, understandable. They've got a medic, so this is going to be difficult to flip and do. But if I can just... If I can lay down enough fire on all of them simultaneously, it's going to cause them trouble. You need to also keep putting out the fires before they spread further. Concentrate fire at the rear of their ship. That's where their crew are all clustered. One of them's running over to do some healing. Just get that down, please. That's not there. That's the firing one. There's more flipping fire coming in right now. Uh, that is... Oh, they're all clustered at the back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Boom. Nice. That's a lot of damage just been done over there. Now, lay down all our fire that we can pull out over here. Get on the mortar. I just want to lay down huge amounts of fire on the med bay if we can. Come on, come on. Take it out, take it out, take it out. They're healing up. The med bays heal really fast. Again, a bit like FTL. Uh, which should be very familiar. And unfortunately, they've managed to pretty much get up to strength. Uh, not quite, though. Not quite. Lay down the... Oh, look at that. Boom. So many of them in so much trouble right now. Just continue knackering this. Even though we probably, because they've got the medic and the med bay, they, we're going to struggle to actually kill all the crew. It's kind of worth it just because we've managed to... There we go. Boom. We've just managed to basically keep them off their guns. Because while they're busy taking care of this, they can't be firing their normal day-to-day -day guns. Which all works for me. So, boom. Boom. And now, hopefully we can take out a few of them. Boom. Oh, I think we just took out three of their crew. Three of their crew. And also, they're taking on water like crazy. Okay. This is the point where we probably actually want to say, you know what? I think it's time to actually move in. And actually, it might be too late. The problem is, if they actually move in, where's their... Ooh. Can we actually... Oh, we probably can't. Uh, right, I need you to get back over to here. 
I need you to take out... Can the medic heal himself? I don't know. Let's just fire that. I'm going to move this guy back over to here. Because I actually... I can't close distance to board right now. I physically can't do that. Oh! I think I just blew up the ship. I didn't actually mean to do that. I forget. The cannons are all on auto fire. I'm not sure how you actually turn it off. Because uh, it's very obvious uh, how to turn auto fire on and off when you're playing FTL. All the, the basic cannons are on auto fire. The specialist cannons are not. So we've got a victory. Could have made a bit more money there. So... I'd say it's definitely time to go to port, having won three battles. I'd like to do a bit of repairing. So while I just look over the shops and figure out what I want to buy, Claire, over to you. Yeah, we've got a couple of more naming suggestions. That oh, that's perfect, because I think we've actually got to buy a new crew member right now. Exactly. Well, those are further down the list, but I'm going to shout them out anyway. Uh -huh. So shout out to Chris, who gave us $10 and said, uh, please name some expendable red shirts, Surly. Uh, and Zykoria gave us $25 and said, heart your face. Please name a navigator or anything really Esther. Mm -hmm. So those are on the list, but I think Ella was next. So. Ella was... Well, I think uh, what I'd like to pick up would be a surgeon. I think surgeons are useful because okay. then you can keep people healed up without having to bother getting them off their stations. So I think I might actually take a surgeon because surgeons can still use guns just the same as anyone else. So I might actually buy a surgeon for 100 immediately. So Ready? what do we want as the name for a surgeon? Well, Ella was next. Ella was next. Okay. Uh, we'll do that before we go. I need to actually visit all the other shops first. So I visited the tavern. So now I need to visit the local shop. So I've still got 180 gold. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you go and hire a surgeon in the pub? Yes. Okay. Surgeons need surgeons drink too. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn down a good surgeon because he likes to drink at the end of the day. Sorry, sorry, Captain Puritanical over there. Oh, I think this surgeon has once tasted the drink of beer. Well, I shall not let him operate on me. I shall simply let my entrails flop around on the deck and wait for a sober surgeon to show up. Yeah, good luck with that, Claire. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Now, what have we got here? Ah, maximum visibility, advanced crow's nest. So now I'd actually be able to see what was going on, even if I wasn't close by to the enemy ship, which is quite useful. And I could also put some hull spikes or heavy hull spikes. So if I do ramming, then yeah, you actually get a big advantage from that. So that's my, that's a potentially worth thinking about. I could also just sell my rear cannons. Like the reason you've got cannons on the other side of your ship is the manoeuvre bar, which is at the bottom that fills up over the course of the fight, you can use that to either flee or actually flip your ship around so you start circling around each other. So if you want to like really lay down huge amounts of suppressing fire, what you would do is you'd basically you'd charge up your rear cannons, then you'd charge up your front cannons, you'd fire all your front cannons, then you'd immediately flip the ship using the manoeuvre, and then you'd fire the other cannons. You could basically lay four shots in a row down, which is kind of <laughs> cool. Now, what have we got here? We've already got one basic mortar. Hull cracker cluster bomb. Mortar shell breaks apart midair into several smaller hull crack causing projectiles. Causes zero hull damage. Small amounts of section and crew damage. But a chance of causing hull cracks. Which is basically uh, what lets water onto the ship. So they're pretty important to sort out. So actually a bunch of different uh, mortar and equivalents have kind of shown. That's actually a cannon rather than a mortar. But it kind of looks a bit like a mortar. More powerful the further the distance it is fired. So high damage at mid-range, very high damage at far range. Though I'd rather actually close the distance, uh, rather, so I feel like that doesn't really suit me. But a basic mortar here, that is... I could just sell my basic mortar to get a hull crack cluster bomb. If I was to sell this, it would be worth just 17. Then I could have... That would get me up to just under 200. And that's a section damager. Cannon that trades high section damage for no hull damage. Which I'm kind of tempted by, actually. I wouldn't mind having an advanced crow's nest and a section damager. Ah, but then I... Okay. I, I, want a sec I wouldn't mind a section damager. I wouldn't mind a hull crocker cluster bomb. A hull cracker, even. And I wouldn't mind having the advanced crow's nest. Claire, what's your view on that? Mm. I mean, you, you know how I feel about, you know... A good, massive gun that I mean, can, you know, do yeah. some really tanky damage. Yeah. Section damage. I mean, zero damage to hull, but small damage to crew. But, like, damaging sections can often be really powerful. And, like, in many cases, you'd rather actually do damage to sections. But then, actually, then I'm kind of lacking anything that does any damage to hull. Uh, unless I had the... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell I'm going to sell the mortar. And I'm going to buy the whole crack cluster bomb. That gets me down to 98. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I can sell one of my cannons at the rear for uh, 23. Because I don't think I'm going to be using that particularly. That gets me up to 121. I can repair all for 18. And then I can buy the advanced crow's nest. Uh, in fact, actually, I can sell the old crow's nest for 15 and advanced crow's nest for 100. So that means I've still got 18, which is nice. Um, and I don't think I need anything else, so I'm okay. So now I've got an empty slot on the back of my ship, but that's fine. We can fill that up later. But now I've got basically yeah, a special cluster bomb mortar that is basically designed to cause cracks in the enemy ship, which will just distract their crew and keep them busy, which I think is useful. So return to the port there. Uh, I think at this point I sail back to sea, but I manage my crew first. So, Alpheus is being renamed Ella, did you say? Yeah, although people in chat were also nominating uh, Bones or Crossbones. Uh-huh. I, I think Ella Crossbones is an excellent yeah. name. Ella Crossbones. Marvellous. That way, when I say it, it can be almost like Hella Crossbones if I'm Mr. H. Indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, so, let's have a look. See, yep, close the journal. Straight back out to sea. So next battle, I've got four remaining visits. So now things are going to start getting tougher. Fought three battles. There are seven to go at this point. Ah, so now at this point, we're now up to uh, torrential rain. And the ships are obviously getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Are you trying to... Right, they are trying to maintain distance from me. Right now, however, I can see, because I've got the advanced crow's nest, so I can see immediately what they've got. They've got themselves a lobber. Cannon is more powerful the further distance. Fine, so we actually just saw one of those. So that's the reason they actually want to get as uh, close up, or rather as far away as possible. Their lob is more powerful that way. And what's the other cannon you've got? You've got a tackler. So hang on. A long-range swivel gun designed to target and stun individual crew. Knocks them to the ground, does not cause damage, has a chance of knocking crew overboard infinite range. So got to be careful of that. Uh, and also, as we have, you may as well actually just go over here and load this gun and just get it ready to go. So my doctor's currently actually firing the anti-personnel gun, which is nice. We need to take out their cells as soon as possible because we want to basically be as close as possible to stop them actually using their... Ooh, they're actually pulling away from us, which makes me think they've probably got better sails than we do. Because they are literally managing to pull away from us right now. Uh, so that's fine. In a moment we'll be able to sort that out. Yep. Fire at their sails and the chain shot does a bit of damage. Good. We can start closing the distance a little bit. Now, the one I really want to worry about is, yeah, that over there. That flipping, uh, lobber at the rear. So let's just target our fire on that and just kind of lay down a bit of suppressing fire there. Boom. There we go. That's done a bit of damage, but not much yet. And my new awesome thing's ready to go. Fire it. And now hopefully we'll cause some hull breaches, which will keep them busy. And yep, I think I can see a bit of a splash of water right there. So they've got a bit of damage in on us. Nothing too dramatic, all things considered. We are too far away right now to actually fire much at them. My guy's just repairing up any systems they're standing next to, which they do automatically if they're standing next to a system, which is good. Continue laying down fire. Boom. Okay, and continue laying down suppressing fire. Actually, this ship doesn't seem to have much health. I think we might just beat this one in a straight-up slugging match by just continuing to lay fire on them. Uh, speaking of which, I think, actually, we've got more... More over there. I can't see very well because they're so far away, which is kind of the advantage of distance. You can't really see what's going on. I think I've just caused myself a bit of fire there. They're laying down some light suppressing fire. At this point, they're not repairing their sails fast enough because they're too busy dealing with hull issues. So now we can start getting really close up, which is fine. Their sails are now completely screwed. And that means we're now closing the distance on them incredibly fast. There's just nothing they can do anymore. We're taking some very light taps. We're up to range two. With range two ready to go, we are ready to start firing on them with grape shot. That'll keep you guys busy. Now continue just laying down the fire with the mortar. This fight's actually going pretty smoothly, all things considered. That actually failed to cause any damage there. Continue taking out your sails. Do not let them get the sails back up and operational here. And now just boom and boom. Momentarily, we'll have the grape shot ready to go. I don't think they've got a, a medic. There's Actually, they've got something. I think they must have a medic because someone's healing up the rest of their ship. But that's fine. Just prepare to lay down that. That's just the lobber. But the lobber is now incredibly weak because we're at point blank range, which is exactly what we want to do. Yes, they do indeed have a medic right there. Uh, right, lay down the mortar. 
Boom. And now concentrate fire on that big group of people. And now lay down your fire right here, boys. Very, very nice indeed. No one's on the lobber anymore. So now we can just target their one remaining gun. Just keep the fire on. The pressure's now on them. They're starting to fall apart. They've got one navigator going on here. Now, if we're basically saying we don't think we're going to be able to take this one out, the bar is actually full here. So we could go in for a... Where can we go in for a ram? Uh, that No, that's hard poops. Oh, we can go in for a ram. Okay. Do you think we should just ram them? Yeah. Yeah, ram them. Okay, activate ram. Now, as soon as that happens... Uh, brace, 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 and... Boom! Nice. That did some good damage to them. Pull back, pull back, pull back. It didn't actually kill them, though. However, we can now lay down some nice suppressing fire in just a second. Wait. Boom. Nice. They're now in a lot of trouble over here. Their sails are boned. No one's operating their guns at all. The sails are now completely gone, and now we're pulling back. They cannot fire at us right now. Their medic is trying to get them back up and ready to go. Their captain's running over to the medic's table. If we can, we might be able to lay some fire down on him. Boom. Come on, stop him healing up. Stop him healing up. And... Nice. And... Oh, not quite. Almost, 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 almost. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that gun up to speed. I think their ship just sank. I'm going to shoot them anyway. I shot... Yeah, I killed that captain before the ship exploded. I, can t I consider that a moral victory. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, down it goes. Bye, ship. Only 64 again, so we didn't actually take that one. Right. Let's have a look, see what we got, and then I'll give Claire a second. Ah, yes, and now we've got uh, thick fog. So now we can't see what's going on as well. But while we start just having a little look, see around, Claire, over to you. Yeah, a uh, shout out to uh, Thomas, who gave us, uh, Thomas Richter, who gave us 10 uh, Brazilian reals and said, Hi, Claire and John, please give a shout out to my soccer team, uh, soccer team, sorry, uh, Gremio. I'm not sure there's there's an accent on there. That go, I go, Gremio. So that's sorry. that's what we say. Everywhere we go, people always ask us. Well, that song's quite long. Gremio's <laughs> good anyway. Playing against Real Madrid right now in FIFA Club World Cup. Oh, I thought that yes. was just his, like, his local team or something. If they're taking on Real Madrid, I hope that's not just like, you know, the, his local Saturday League football kickabout. He just happened to be drawn against Real Madrid. So that'd be quite frankly unfair. Yeah, I mean, you know, when people say my team, yeah. they they mean like, you know, what the town that Apparently right? so. Apparently so, yes. Surely people say my team, they mean like say Arsenal, Manchester or something. I like, just assumed you meant my team is in the team I play for. I mean possibly it is. Maybe I that's mean, a really it famous seems footballer. From a quick Google that it's like a pretty big team. Mm-hmm. You know. Is this a team is this like from a really well known town you're just mispronouncing? <laughs> I'm sorry, how many towns do you know in Brazil? Yeah, there you go. Maybe one on a All good right. day. Um, <laughs> mm. Apparently the pronunciation of it is more like Grêmio. Um, and it's a professional football club in Porto Alegre, uh, Rio Grande do Sul. Very good. There you go. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Anyway, he also says, let's sink some ships, which uh, we are all in favor. There's a lot of pirates jokes going on in the uh, chat. Mm -hmm. Though they're mostly based on putting R in everything, so. Uh -huh. Uh, um, people just... in the chat do know what the, what the team is, it seems like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good old <laughs> Groomy, as we always used to say at university, Groomy OS Cockwuss. No, what are you? That sounds wrong. That sounds so wrong. No, it's not. It's just Latin CLC, you bloody philistine. Yep, there you go. Um. <coughs> Pardon me. Carry on while I just kind of slowly weaken these guys. A bit of an early exchange of fire just to take out their sails and just lay down a bit of suppressing fire on their cannons. Shout out to Chris who gave us five dollars and said I have an update on uh, John the shiny Hariyama. He was sadly murdered with the rest of my squad Wednesday 3.31 a.m. by Ultra Necrozma. Nuzlocke over. Oh. Sorry. That does sound very sad indeed. Yes, uh, and I'm kind of glad that it was Pokemon because I I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Pokemon. I'm going to double check it was Pokemon and not like pets. Yeah, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> what? Several people have told us they have like, you know... Well, okay, one person told us they have a John kitten, but that would have been so sad. 
Mm -hmm. Anyway. I'm going to get my medic over to keep my captain alive while he's fighting. Yeah, he goes down super fast. Life is nice and good because of that. That's why it's good to have a medic on board. It makes the attacks from those guys a lot less scary. Uh, their sails are... Actually, they're getting their sails actually healed up pretty quickly. Oh, I need to watch out, though. You need to go and heal this guy up, please. Go and heal this guy up because he's currently standing on... Oh, he's currently standing on the, the green goo. So just go and get him healed up nice and quick. Yeah, this is fine. I like this. This is very, very nice indeed. Get him healed up. You are actually... You should be back on your mortar, please. Back on your mortar. Right, that's close enough to full strength. Back over here, please. Lovely. Uh, keep those sails under attack. Like, that guy managed to buy them some time. And as a result, we're struggling to bring their sails down. Because they've got enough crew to repair. But if we can just keep laying some fire over here, then we're all right. And if I can just actually get a ton of... Okay, there we go. There's a bunch of people standing right there. So I can do some light taps to them and hopefully this thing is causing hull cracks i don't know i can't see right now uh now we're yeah i'm willing to move up to rank two. Oh, ouch what was that what the flip was that ah double shot maximum range close right that's why they want to get close to us it's because they've got a special gun they can only use point blank range and they're determined to use the damn thing right well that's okay uh there's all of that there we go i think we just killed one of them with a bit of a lucky grape shot there. Uh, we should be able to pull away from them. So their shot can't actually do anything right now. As soon as we're outside of near range. They won't be able to fire their massive great super cannon anymore. Which works for flipping me. I've got one medic there. Keep firing that down. And I think we're safe. Yep, we're safe. Good. We're just safe there. Now we can't see anything. Because the, um, the fog is pretty bloody thick. Just continue firing at their sails, and we're just causing more and more damage, right? The question is, do we dare go back in for a bit more of an attack, or are we better off... To, I think we're just better off hanging back, to be honest, just basically firing through the fog at what we got going on here. I can't even see what we're firing at right now, but I'm assuming it's good. Uh, luckily, the mortar gives you a bit of intelligence, because the mortar, it shows you what you will hit with it, so hopefully that'll all be fine. Uh continue taking out that. I think we can just... We're barely keeping up with their repairing. Screw it. I'm willing to move back into rank 2. And uh, purely there is this... There's that double fire again. Right. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Right. Okay. Here we go. And... Boom! That's a lot of good damage right there. Uh, keep that down. And boom, there's the double fire. You fix that, I think. Get back on this thing. That should be reloaded momentarily. And now we're ready for another big mortar hit. Followed by concentrate all fire on over here. Nice, thank you. We can't even see their health bars right now because the mist is so thick. Keep laying down that fire. Keep laying down that fire. Massive hit over there. They can't keep doing this for long. If nothing else, it's keeping them busy. But now I'm kind of stuck. I'm screwed. I'm going in for a ram. I might be able to finish them off. So go for the ram. Brace, brace, brace. Someone might fall to the ground. Watch out for that. I think everyone's fine. Pull back out, pull back out. And that was enough to finish them off. Yeah. With with medics on board and also multiple marines. And also the ram knocked one of them overboard there. That you just may have seen that guy who was literally thrown overboard. Which is another hilarious thing ramming can do. 128 actually. Luckily, if some plenty of useful materials floated up, so even though we sank that ship, we managed to actually survive anyway. So, I fought five battles, five to go. Half time, Claire, get us up to speed. Yeah, uh, shout out to Sir Roderick Quincy von Thunderbottom, the magnificent high king of Australia, who gave us two Australian dollars and said, Acid fire for all you Jimi Hendrix experiences. Excellent. Um, <laughs> I think I'm not cool enough for that reference, but uh, mm -hmm. a shout out also to Diodor. It's, it's in the drug acid. It's in the drug acid. No, no I, I got that. Okay, so you're cool enough for that. Okay. Jimi Hendrix I mean, acid. Just, okay. Okay, oh, so it wasn't more specific than that. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, fine. A shout out to Diodor. Unless it's too cool for both of us, which is entirely possible. I mean, I would assume yes. Most things are too cool for both of us. Yeah. You wouldn't believe the number of young people at YouTube's party. You know what? It was a black tie event. It was a black tie event. Nobody was wearing a dress shirt. I wore a proper dress shirt. Because... I saw at least two or three dress shirts. Yeah, I think there were like four total in the entire party. And hundreds of people that were there. So many people just think, oh, black tie. I can go wearing a normal white shirt and a black bow tie. No. 
Plenty of people wore normal no, you cannot. ties as well. Like. No, you cannot. No. Dress shirt, black bow tie, all right? Show up with a flipping double pleated lovely white dress shirt or go home. They should not have let those people in. It should have been, should have been us and four other people in that entire party. Well, the problem is that if you're going to call something black tie and then mm. let everybody in whatever they're wearing, then there's literally no reason. Like, and you didn't, you didn't no even advantage. see them. You didn't even see the madness of the toilets with the red green lights that didn't do anything. Oh, that yeah, that sounded terrible. And the fact that the sinks were all inside the cubicle, which maximizes the wait time per cubicle. Yeah, that sounds stupid. That's just a stupid design decision. You have the sinks outside so you can be washing your hands while someone else gets in the toilet so they can start using the toilet. If the sink's stuck inside the cubicle, it maximizes the amount of time you're locked in the cubicle for. It's just bad design. Okay, stop talking about toilets. Uh, shout out to Selena who uh, gave us 200 euros. Oh, thank you so, so much. Uh, just so you would stop talking about toilets. Is that actually oh, what the message is? No, the message is... Um... <laughs> oh, hello! What? What is the message? Uh oh. <laughs> would would John like to get a little private lesson for total war? Oh. I mean. What you're actually seeing is like some of it is you you kind of see me slightly behind. Like I know I think I know a lot more about it now than when I started. I think I understand the game a lot more now. Okay. Anyway, the message is: Would John like to get a little private lesson for a total war Warhammer sometimes during the holidays? Yeah. It seems like he has a good time with the game, but he struggles with some of the basic mechanics that the game doesn't explain very well, and mm -hmm. it prevents him from putting up his usual show. Mm hmm. I I I I I agree in part, but I think like by the I think you'll see over the coming part. I'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable getting to grips, and I've done a lot of reading around it, so I feel a lot more comfortable with it all now. Yeah, and I quite like uh, everyone's favorite part of the uh, everyone's favorite part of the episode stuff that John got wrong. Uh huh. We, we haven't had, had to, we haven't had to do one of them for a while. I think we've actually been doing all right in that regard. Yeah, and I think maybe if you were more familiar with the fluff, mm. uh, with the lore of Warhammer ahead of time, there's yeah. some stuff that you could have, you know, maybe maybe guessed quicker like about how does Gaven need to eat all the time for yes. instance uh, but but yeah I think the I'm not sure doesn't... that would have helped because it wasn't so much about the food as, as being a thing it was more about the food as a where do you get food from and ultimately what does the Skaven Empire need to look like and once I got to grips with that I was a lot happier with it I was a lot happier with loyalty once I got to I mean the big thing that I think was badly ex explained was it doesn't say anywhere in the Skaven campaign that you must keep the, the level of your main lord higher than all the other lords. That's explained explicitly in the Dark Elf campaign, where it's also a thing for Malekith, I think. But it's stated nowhere in the Skaven campaign, but it is a big problem. Yeah. Uh, do you want to top up your water... Do you want to top up water supplies and also grab us the food? As you may notice the snacks in the kitchen. I did I got, I got us, I got us the chocolate, I got us the chocolate salted caramel popcorn bites. Ah! Claire's going to do it. Claire's going to grab those for a second. Right. So now we're starting to take on bigger and bigger ships. Now we're taking on a massive great old galleon. Which is great. And now it's got more people than us. And it's also got three separate gunners. And a medic. So right now they are trying to pull away from us. Uh, so can we actually stabilize? Yeah. We can stabilize versus them. No one's faster than anyone else. You need to get up to here. Because you kind of may as well. We may as well have that gun fully loaded in preparation. Uh, but for the time being, it's going to take us a while. We've got a... What's it over there? Do we have a... Oh! We've obviously just got... Yeah, we've got the other guns around the back. We've got another set. So when we flip the ship round... If we were to ship the flip round... Yeah, if we were to flip the ship round... Uh, yes, if we were to flip the ship round, we'd still have access to the chain guns and all of that business. So using my advanced intelligence, I should be able to see what's going on. So they've got a section damager... So basically, uh, yeah, they can do... They're going to be doing little damage to our hull, but big damage to our section. Also, I didn't notice we were going into this fight with like two-thirds two -thirds health. So we need to be a little bit careful. Luckily, the section damager isn't going to damage our ship, which is fine. They seem to want to be keeping their distance. And this guy is... Uh, manning a weapon, so he claims. Ooh, chocolate bite. I'm just going to eat a chocolate bite. Mmm. Chocolate bite. <laughs> okay, whilst you um, make weird food noises. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, 
We got an update from Thomas about um, uh, Grêmio and uh, he gave us 20 Brazilian reals and said Grêmio is my team because it's how we refer to the team we cheer for here in Brazil. Half of the population of Rio Grande do Sul cheers for Grêmio. As I live 50 kilometers away from Porto Alegre, um, that is, I think I can call them my team. Hmm. So there you go. Yeah, Grêmio Estin Culina. I think it makes sense when people say my sports team, they mean like their town or the one that they cheer on. Mm -hmm. I think that makes 100% sense in like the way that people use it in the UK as well. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Anyway, Studabite also gave us two Canadian dollars and wanted to know, John, are you sure your ship, are you sure your ship has enough ballast? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to be really careful. I'm moderately confident it does. <laughs> Not to mispronounce ship for this particular stream. Lol. <laughs> okay, so what we've got is we can now see their guns thanks to our advanced crow's nest, which is why I like getting the advanced crow's nest. It's like upgrading sensors in FTL. Uh, it just lets you see what's going on at long range before anyone else can. So the two cannons they've got is high accuracy, especially at far range. So if we were to close the distance, that would become less accurate. And it also does low damage to hull. This does zero damage to hull. It just damages sections. So... What we should expect in this fight is, we won't take much damage, but they might be able to wear us down just by repeatedly badly damaging our actual um, our actual ship parts. Like, you know, damaging our sails, damaging our, our hull, damaging the, not hull, the, this thing, the wheel. Helm! That's the word. I forgot the word. Um, but so what we need to do is we need to keep them busy as well. So this is going to be a bit of a skirmishy fight. This is going to be a skirmishy fight. So I'm just going to basically just start trading fire with them. So Claire, I think you've got a little bit of a moment to keep us caught up while we're just starting to trade a bit of fire here. Yeah, a shout out to uh, Deo, to your productions, who gave us £25 and said, first time donating and the, uh, catching a stream live. Would love to die on stream at some point. I will put you uh, in the queue if you want to be under a different um, name. You can uh, let me know. Shout out also to uh, USJ Manian who uh, gave us five dollars. Um, he was the one that suggested Evil John earlier and said, "Excellent." Actually, scratch that. If we get an experienced gunner, can we see the pirate days of John Marston? Ooh, that's a nice idea. Isn't it just so? I've also popped that in the list as well. And um, shout out to Pine Potato who gave us five Australian dollars. And Mr. Face Rock, who gave us two pounds and said, thanks for making my hangover more bearable. Oh, excellent. Right, let's get a few more of those floating around now. I can see I've got a breach down there, so I just need to get the breach fixed up because we're starting to take on water. Now, hopefully, ah, we've put a couple of breaches in their ship as well. Oh, they're causing breaches to us. Right, so both of us have got breach heavy weaponry right now. Um... Yeah, actually quite a lot of breaches. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm going to get my doctor to come down and help out with that. Because that's that's concerning. We need to get closer to them sooner rather than later. In fact, they're doing more damage to our right now to ourselves than we are to them. Uh, so we just need to, yeah, move over, move over, move over, move over, move over. I think we've got that under control. Uh, right, you, back over to here. That's fixed as well. Back over to the mortar. Fine. We've stabilised for the time being, but... Their shields, uh, not shield sails. Take a shot. Everyone take a shot. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they've got a flipping... They've got an anti, or rather a hull damaging uh, in terms of breaches mortar too. In fact, they might have the same mortar we have at the exact moment time. I can't see that. If I got eyes on it, I might be able to. And I can't ram them yet because we're not close enough. I need to lay down some more fire on their actual sails before I can do that. And they, because just because they've got so many crew members, they can actually afford to keep their ship repaired up. So, hmm, interesting. What are we going to do here? We just need to keep the ship under fire and just stop the section damager. We can stop the section damager, which is where I'm just going to focus my fire for the time being. We'll be okay. I think actually they just kind of fluffed their mortar shot a bit, which works for me. Uh, we've almost got the, yeah, they've totally got the same thing as ours, but that's fine. I'm just going to drop mine right in the middle of their ship because it just kind of increases the chance that every single bit actually hits. So the medic needs to go over here and just fix that breach up. There's a couple. We're taking on water. We can reduce the water because there's pumps at the rear. Anytime you want you can just use the pumps and actually get the water off your ship. 
We just need to lay down some more fire. Uh, if I could just focus the fire on the... I could just focus... The, I think you're allowed to focus on the sails. Uh, let's just kind of turn some focus over here. Just with our day-to-day -day cannons. Which is slowly weakening them. My cannons are very, very slow and to the point. Just keep getting them breaches out of the way. Ouch. One of my guys is badly injured. Um, right, I'm going to get him fixed up. Because he's taking a lot of fire. This guy is... Okay, as soon as this shot goes down... Yeah, get that done. Uh, no, fire, 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 fire. Uh, boom. Now, next, you turn your attention to repairing because you can do that nice and quickly. My medic needs to be focusing for the time being on getting my crew members back up to strength. Focus on getting this up to strength. Get Focus on getting the... I think, actually, they're, they're not being able to repair their sails as fast at the minute. This is good. This is good because, uh, yeah... If we just stay focused on that for just a second, you, now turn your attention over here, turn your attention over here, you, oh, that's a flipping lightning strike, but I don't think it actually hit us there, and the medic, as soon as that's done, can just start working on the breaches. The breaches are a bit intense right now, I think they missed with their mortar strike, uh, we should be able to get their sails down quite badly in a second, boom, okay. We're now actually starting to pull up to range here, and the closer we are, the less accurate their main gun is. Uh, continue focus firing over here. That guy is, that guy's losing health, or rather he was losing health. Let's just fix him up for a moment. In comes more mortar. We've been lucky the mortar didn't do much on that occasion. Fire the mortar. And continue firing at the sails. Just keep that going down. There we go. The medic can now focus here. Yeah, the medic can basically be a repairman as well as an actual human medic. So as soon as that breach is taken care of, we just need to, as soon as that's done, yeah, get healing on this guy. Okay, we're up to rank 3 range, and we're closing. We're closing, and momentarily, there we go, fire again. Do not let the chain shot go out the way. Nice, okay. Now we can get up to rank 2 range. That means momentarily, get the captain healed up, just in case they decide they want to do anything stupid here. They're firing at us. Momentarily, we should be able to actually get our first shot in with the actual grape shot. So you, get over here, get on that gun. Prepare to actually fire on their ship with our mortar. In comes that. There's the mortar hit. Nice. Now we are almost, almost, almost in range. Come on, come on, come on. Momentarily, their sails will be completely shredded. They have not had the time to keep them repaired. Shredded sails. Right. Now we can start laying down some supporting fire over here. Let's start taking out these flipping gunners. All right. Focus all firepower right here at the main guns. Right in at number two. Their guns are not so good at this range. This works for me. Uh, they're just firing a ooh, lot of fire, but now we're winning this fight. But we need to go to port after this fight, basically, just to heal up. Um, yeah, uh, they want to know, the chat wants to know specifically Pseudobite. Do uh, you, uh, sorry, specifically Lack of a Better Idea wants to know if you're uh, aware that you're taking on quite a bit of water. Uh, I know I'm taking on a fair bit of water, as, but I'm kind of... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this and then I'm going to move this guy over to the pumps. So he's now going to work on the pumps. And the pumps work really fast, uh, which is fine. Now I'm just going to try and distract them a bit by just firing my mortar down over here. And... Alright, that's caused some breaches. In fact, that's caused two breaches. And the breaches are going to draw their attention. So if I can just wait for the right moment. Ah, come on. That'll do. Boom. That's got them distracted. Oh, they don't like that. They don't like that one little bit. Right, the water's going down fast. Uh, you need to... Okay, we've got enough water. I need to get this going. I'm going to get this gunner off that. The sails are screwed. I'm just going to have him patch up that. And then we're okay. Ooh, they just got hit by lightning. Works for me. Right, okay. We don't need to get the... Right now, they're not repairing... Okay, they are repairing their sails, but not much. Let's get you back over here just in case. Now, continue laying down that mortar fire. More mortar fire. And boom. Oh, that was three separate breaches there. Right, now. No, no, no. I don't think you get to do that. Concentrate all fire where all the crew are concentrated right now. And now that's it. Right now, they're really, really busy and screwed. Just trying to patch that up. They're still able to fire because they've got so much crew. We can just keep those sails completely screwed for the time being. Right. Concentrate fire right at the front here. Um, I tell you what, I'm going in for the ram. I'm going in for the ram. Um, brace, 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 brace. And yes. that's it. Yes. Job done. Wait, 
so that ship looks like it's exactly the same like model as your ship. The yeah, it looks like it's about. Well, actually, they've got. It looks like they've got one extra sail at the front. Right, but it, it looks fairly similar in size. Like when you do a ramming action. Yes. Is there some kind of like modifier? Do you think where like the person who attacks gets more? Like, because if you're trying to ram a ship and it's yes. bigger than you, you probably are going to, like, be the one that has damage. I think it's something to do with the angle you pick or something. I don't know. Mm. People who know about ship combat of this era, feel free to let us know. <laughs> right, but... Okay, I'm going to eat something. Do you think I eat something? Uh, shout out to Simon who gave us five pounds and said congrats on sorting out that Patreon thing. Mm. Keep up the great work. Please do two episodes of Frost each week. Uh huh. So uh, as we've said before, we can't we've, really do two episodes. We've of Frost. said this. Yeah, I've explained this before on Twitter. I'll kind of put it in the live stream too. Like there are reasons some games can have like two parts a week and some can't. The reason Total War can have two parts a week is because there is basically a new Total War release every single year and. The main current kind of vaguely 3D-ish franchise, like the modern franchise, which I consider begins at Rome Total War 1, like has 10 entries in it. Yeah. They're constant, and DLCs are like full campaigns and games in themselves, where every single DLC pack, like Medieval 2's Kingdoms expansion, you could do four full playthroughs out of that, because all of the four scenarios are big enough to do a full series out of. Fallout has three games in the modern 3D franchise, and you can wait five years between them. Like, I pace the Fallout stuff because literally we might be waiting another five years for that. Like, the only reason there was um, there was only a two-year gap between Fallout 3 and New Vegas was because they farmed out the license. Now, it's been two years since Fallout 4, yeah. and there's no sign that's happening again. Like, if, it was, if they were playing the same thing, we'd have, we'd have heard of it by now. So we're not looking like we're going to get another farmed out Fallout game soon. So... It strikes me as eminently reasonable that we could be waiting another five years for Fallout 5. So, I pace the Fallout stuff because there are not enough Fallout games to go round. Total War, that's not the case. That's why. So... And I know a lot of people were saying that in the chat that they uh, they want more Frost, but uh, you'll be doing other other mods after that, won't you? We'll be looking at a few other bits and pieces, yes. Yeah. A shout out to Jexter, who uh, gave us $5 and said, Good morning from the colony of California. God save the queen. Uh, he also says, been watching John since his his kill everything run of Fallout 3, long time fan. Uh, and also just sponsored on YouTube. So thank you very, very much for that indeed. Um, and hopefully you're nowhere near the fires. Because California's on fire right now, isn't it? Yes, part of California's on fire right now. Hopefully you're not in that bit. Yeah, shout out to Pseudobite who um, wants to know whether you cook Christmas dinner because that would be the last <laughs> nice opportunity. No, I go I go to one of my siblings' places and they cook uh, Christmas dinner. Yeah, so we 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 can't do the food videos too often. Yeah, because they're, 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 so they're great. special. They're special. You, they're a once you're a year so special. So fantastic at cooking. Hey, the time it's I did the three course meal, every course tasted good. Okay, that is true. Screw you. But what hurts me isn't necessarily the taste of the food. It's just like watching you do the process is painful. Only because I break all your stuff. No, just because you do it really wrong. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got some new guns that have just shown up in the actual port. So the double shot, maximum range close, we've seen that before. The short shot we've run into, the flamethrower. So. Here we go. A boarding range causes no damage is guaranteed to start fires. A close range causes Ooh. minor hull section and crew damage and can start fires. So that can only be used at close or closer. Uh, so that's... Yeah, but that yeah. sounds like a, a very John weapon, doesn't it? I mean, what you'd probably do then is you'd, actually, you'd stick that at like the rear of your ship because then you'd, you'd close range by just knackering them with the normal guns and then you'd close range with the flamethrower and turn your ship around. There's also a hull destroyer so causes a single hull crack, very high hull damage, high section and crew damage. I think I actually like this one better because this one, like, if you just aim it right, has like three, uh, that creates like three different breaches, which is kind of good. So I think I quite like that. Um, upgrade and supplies. Water pumps. Hand operated pumps. We've already got them. We've got the basic cruise nest. We don't need any of that. We could take hull armor for 100 or I could upgrade a ship section. So I could get, yeah, third master ship travels much faster. So basically I'd be able to be more manoeuvrable. Sick bay level two or 
Maneuver bar, greatly improved rate for 75. I wouldn't mind getting the third mast, potentially, as I've already repaired the ship. Because I've got 213 right now. I could I could get the third mast, and I could slap the flamethrower on the rear of the ship, ready to basically get involved. That would potentially be quite good. Uh, and the sure shot is... I don't know the sure shot. Had that been like the one where it, did, where it was a section damage, I'd have been tempted... But I don't really want to put the flamethrower right in the front of my ship. I want to put it on the rear. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to get a... Um, they want to know whether you can have two mortars. Uh, I could have two mortars. Yes, actually, that is true. I mean, I would really, really like you to go for the flamethrower because that sounds great and very <clears throat> John A. Yes. But, you know. I feel like it's I should true. also convey the feelings of the chat. Even okay. when they're wrong. The problem is, if I was to buy the hull destroyer... <laughs> I'd need to mm, the whole destroyer. I'd need to base. I'd need to sell the uh, this other cannon. Then when I turn around, I've got nothing but the flamethrower, um, which would leave me a bit vulnerable. So I think the whole destroyer is a little bit expensive, to be honest. I'm not sure if I've got anything else I can sell either. I could sell. I could sell my lifeboat for fifteen. It's probably a bad idea though. But. Mm, Mm, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna i I'm gonna sell the lifeboat. John. Yes. I just sold the lifeboat. Um <laughs> and I'm gonna do that so I can have a hull destroyer and also a flamethrower at the back over here. So that's good. So that no, that was a good thing. Don't <laughs> she's giving me the look. It's fine. This is a good thing. I've spent all the money. Now straight back out to sea. Uh, next battle. Let's see what we've got going on here. So, huge distant tidal waves. Ooh, blimey. Okay, when tidal waves occur, they trigger a brace test. You've got to be ready to hit the brace button, which is the same button I hit when there's actually, uh, when you're going for a ram. And if there are any fires in doubt, tidal wave will extinguish them. If you fail the brace test, then, uh, yeah, basically, they might actually be, uh, you might lose crew overboard. In which case, get over to the winch to get them back aboard. So, what have we got here? We've got a big old black ship. And they've got themselves a... Yeah, we can see immediately. They've got a double shot cannon. So, <laughs> maximum range close. Yes! Um, uh, Jakob in chat pointed out, uh, the game is called Abandoned Ship. You can't sell your lifeboat. I just did. <laughs> Which I thought was... I had not made that connection. Well, I just have. Oh, oh. This is so pretty, by the way. I think this, this, it is very just, nice. Yes, it's very, it's very, very nice pretty. indeed. Now, looks like we're right now. We're happy. Oh, okay. They are. They looks like they're much faster than us. They're much faster. Than us. They want to close the distance. For some reason, they want to close the distance. I need to basically take out their shields to not shield sails to stop them. I'm. Oh, right. That's a lot of fire. That's a lot of fire coming in right now. Okay. Just wait a second here. What are we looking at? That's a. That is a sure shot. Okay, high accuracy at far range. And uh, the other weapon is round shot. Okay, it's fairly basic stuff, to be honest, actually. Um, all right, uh, let's just basically knacker that. If they want to try and... I'm not sure why they want to close distance. Possibly they're looking to board. They might be looking to board. Uh, or they just want to get over to rank 2. But momentarily, I'm going to have multiple mortars ready to fire. Boom! Mortar number 1. And in comes their mortar. And now mortar number 2. Which they're going to have to now try and fix. Now drop the ridiculous mega mortar. Right. There. No. Drop it. Drop the mega mortar. Weapon not manned. What do you mean weapon not manned? Why is the weapon not manned? Hang on. Get up and man the cocking weapon. There you go. He fell over. There we go. Right, Mega Mortar, Mega Mortar, Mega Mortar. And, oh yeah, that'll do the job. Right, now take out the the sails. Okay, sails are boned. We can now back off. We can now back off, because if they want to be close, then I don't, basically, is the rule. And I can just keep knackering them with my mortar. We're holding steady, far apart from each other. We've got a couple of different hits in over there. We're taking some light taps there, taking some light taps as well. Nothing too major is wrong so far. Everything's under control. Uh, watch out for them. Yeah, bear in mind the brace test is coming at some point. Uh, and now number one. And number two. Watch out for all of this. In comes all of that. In comes all of that. They're just firing over there. We got ourselves one breach. 
I'm going to get that out of the way in just a moment. As soon as this next time the cannon fires, I'm going to get that underway. I just want to get them out of the way. Right, you go and fix this. Sailors repair faster than everyone else. Their sails are boned. Their sails are 100% boned. I think they've got a special mortar or possibly a ship gun that specializes in knocking people to the ground. Because I've noticed my guys being knocked to the ground repeatedly. Uh, in fact, actually, I've got multiple breaches right now. I need to momentarily... Yeah, I need to bring my medic over to fix up the guns because we're taking a lot of... Yeah, you're fine. You move over to here. That's okay. They don't seem interested in repairing their ship, which is interesting. Oh, is that... I think that's the tidal wave. I think that's the tidal wave. Brace, 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 brace. Okay, we got, we got the hit. Everyone's going to be knocked to the ground, but nobody should be. Yeah, that's fine. And I think possibly you might be able to use that tactic. Like, if you got it right, you'd be able to... Yeah, you heal up that guy. You'd be able to basically... You get back on this thing, by the way. You'd be able to, in theory, like, try and knock the enemy off their feet so they couldn't brace ahead of a tidal wave, which would be quite good. Right, their sails are boned. They seem to have no interest whatsoever in that problem. It's just to them, it's just a non-issue. Right, keep my crew healed up, because they've got a lot of fire coming onto my crew right now. I think it's because they've got, like, a sniper shot or something. I'm going to move up a little bit. I'm going to move up into closer range. I think I can just actually start doing some grape shot damage to them. Let's get over to this thing, uh, and let's just start charging this up. So, that's my main hull damage one. So, not the hull damage one, the, um, the hull breach one. They don't seem particularly interested. Actually, they, they can't move even if they want to. Now I can see what's going on a bit better. And now just keep knocking out their sails. Uh, actually, the sails are so badly damaged at this point. I'm going to bring this gunner off that. I'm going to bring him over to the grape shop. Now they're in trouble. Now they don't like this one little bit. Yeah, now they're captains running for cover. And I've got mortars coming in momentarily. And they're all clustered. So when the two mortars come in together, that's going to be good. Their sails are right now screwed. So I'm going to leave that. And I'm just going to focus everything else. But actually, screw it. I'm going to bring... I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop the hull breaches right there. And then they're going to all try and get over to hull breaches. And then I can drop. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. That's the flipping stuff. Now, shoot four of them. I think we just killed someone. I'm pretty sure we just killed someone. We've still got plenty of health for the time being. I don't see any breaches on our ship. We're okay. Everything's under control. Uh-oh. I think I forgot to do the brace test. Um, man overboard, man overboard, man overboard. Right, okay, 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 get over to the winch, get over to the winch, get to the winch, uh, get to the winch. Who have we just lost? Someone's overboard, it's, it's Parrish. We've lost Parrish. Uh, right, someone needs to get up fast, because if someone doesn't get him up, it's, yeah, it's uh, that guy, get over to the winch, get over to the winch. So now we need to waste time getting him up. He's being rescued. We got... We're fine. <laughs> Something fell. Something's fallen, it's fine. It's not the game. Claire's just clumsy. Right, we got Parrish back. Um, okay, now I think we can actually assassinate this guy right now. Navigator just taken out. Not the most important person in the world, but it'll flip and do. Parrish, get back on the wheel. You, get back on this gun. Uh, watch out for those brace tests. Don't fail another one of them. Now fire. This will do some good damage to these guys. And boom. Nice. Okay, watch out for that. Good damage coming in. They're pretty much on their last legs at this point. I have got myself... That's not a tidal wave. No, that's just a fairly strong wave, but it's okay. Could go in for the ram at this point. I'm not going to finish them off, so I feel like actually that's the right thing to do. So, go in for the ram and brace, brace, brace! And... That should be enough. Job done. Back off, back off, back off. And... Life complete. May as well just, you know, shoot them on the way out. Boom! Screw you, you stupid losers. And... Down the ship goes... Getting a bit more intense at this point, but I'm still feeling not like we're not 100% in control. We just got 64 there, though. Right. Seven battles, three to go, and I can still visit port three more times. So I kind of may as well. Though, actually, I don't have much money at this point. No, I'm just going to go to port purely to just repair up. I'm just going to repair up. I'm just going to keep the ship at full strength. Uh, we've seen most of this already. Oh, that's nice. The ship smasher mortar. That is for high hull and section and crew damage. Oh, very, very nice indeed. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with my current loadout, so let's straight back out to sea. <coughs> and let's have a look, see what we got now. So, black columns of smoke spew from a nearby volcanic vol- Oh, bloody hell. Right, so we got a volcano. So, there's going to be small rocks starting fires and large rocks causing hull damage. So, that's good. 
Right. Everything will be fine. Everything's fine. Claire, what have you got to say while I we just cat while I have a look see what we got going on over here? Uh, shout out to Paul Davis who gave us two pounds and said live boats are for quitters. They are absolutely right. Um, shout out to Anthony who gave us five dollars and said, Claire, I feel your pain. People who don't measure or prep all their ingredients before they start actually cooking. That's just wrong. Mise en place is a thing. What? It's just a th like when you prepare your ingredients and you cut everything up before cooking. It's called mise en place. They do it in restaurants. House place? Mise en place. Mise en place. House place. No. <laughs> mise? It's pronounced maison. It's I, did, I have a French GCSE, Claire. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> oh, Claire's face. <laughs> Hey guys, did you know there's a cool word for mansplaining in French? <laughs> oh, what's the French word for mansplaining? It's m'expliquer. M'expliquer. But, but like, so that's the transitive form of to explain. Uh -huh. So it means explain to me. Yeah. But also like the the word for like guy or dude is mec. Yeah. So it's like when a dude explains something to you. Yeah, interesting. It's it's like a very elegant translation. I quite like it. Excellent. And we've also got on this ship, we've got two separate... Yeah, this is a cultist ship and there's two separate monstrosities. So they might at one point, if they're feeling particularly mean, invade kind of uh, unstrength. So that's going to be of interest. And they are... Okay, we're matching speed. They're matching speed, so they cannot pull away from us, which they want to do. They've got a... Looks like they've got some fairly basic guns. One of the guns they do have is a hull cracker, so more likely to cause hull cracks. We need to watch out for hull cracks coming in. They've also got the same mortar as me, the one that splits in three and causes many hull cracks. So we're going to be hull crack central during this fight, and we're also going to fire to deal with from the volcano. That's going to be a bit tricky. Claire! Uh, the chat wants to know if there's a word for John's planing. Shh! <laughs> Probably not in French. We don't have that many French followers. The French are very snooty about uh, us English YouTubers, apparently. Well, maybe because you say that. <laughs> but mostly, I think it's because in France, we are used to having a lot of our media, like, dubbed into French. Uh -huh. So not just subtitles. So it's kind of maybe a bit more difficult for people to... Hey, follow. there's a whole French section of our channel. There's a big... Ooh! Like, you literally just dissed them five minutes ago, and now you're, like, defending them. You have to pick. Uh huh. Anyway, shout out to Grey Morality who gave us five dollars and said, "I think John was right earlier. He would clearly know more about French than Claire." That makes sense to me. Grey yes. Morality, <laughs> like, and I thought we were good, you know. <laughs> oh, in comes the volcano! In comes the cocking volcano! And okay, we've got a small fire. We've got a small fire going on, and we've also got more flipping hull breaches everywhere. And we've also got... Hang on, where's the... Where are you? Hang on, where's the... <laughs> hang, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Where are you? Wait. What are you doing? Hang on, where's the cocking... What? What? Hang on. Where's the... What? Where's the... Oh, he fell over! Right! Where did you fall over? How did you fall over? I guess someone must have shot you without the Probably pretty... when you were explaining French to me. Possibly, yes. Also, the flipping... Oh, dear. Right, the... You're not very good at fighting. Um, The captain needs to go help out with the fighting of the nav... With the navigator. Okay, the gun is in trouble. The gun needs to get the hell out of there. Uh, right, he needs to get out of there. The captain should be able to handle this. You can get on this gun over here. That's that's fine. Oh, there's another one bloody coming in. Okay, you need to help out with this. And then everyone needs to help out together. Oh, I'm really concerned about the health of the medic at this point. Okay, and... Okay, the captain is... The captain needs to get off the spot where he's currently standing because the goo is bad. The captain just needs to go to the thing. We're in a lot of... Okay, this is the point where they're just basically pushing the advantage. Because <coughs> they've got this... Yeah, they've decided they want to pull away from us. In comes more volcanic stuff. Because obviously this is exactly the moment. The medic fortunately can heal himself. You get over there. The water is really getting out of control right now. You probably noticed. In fact, everyone just basically needs to focus on... I think the captain is... I think Did Tabby's... Did you kill Tabby again? No, Tabby was literally hit by a flying rock from a volcano. That doesn't sound good. Um, so basically, we're taking on water so fast at this point, we just need to... 
Yeah, everyone just basically, you need to get on the pumps. You get on the pumps, everyone else just focus on sorting that out because we're literally about to just sink. Okay, everyone over there, just focus overwhelmingly on this problem for the time being. We're pulling away from these guys for the moment, or rather they're... Someone else just exploded. Why did you just explode? I think they've got a special mortar that's good at that sort of thing. Okay. You, focus on this. You, get on this mortar. We need to basically just lay down... Some they've got a sniper. They absolutely have a sniper. That's the problem. Um, and the sniper just keeps doing tons of damage. You need to just do be on here. Why is this not going... Oh, dear. Okay. You, get on over here and just basically... This gun's ready to go, so you may as well fire it. Boom. Now, put out that fire. You, put out this fire. Just abandon the helm for the time being. The volcano is causing huge amounts of damage. You need to... Why is that not actually loading? You should be loading that. That should be ready to go momentarily. Ouch! I think we might have just sunk. Well, that's fine. You can just use a lifeboat. Okay. In some ways. In some ways... Uh, I'm willing to acknowledge my mistakes. I think we might actually just have one second. We might have just one second. I don't think we're quite... I don't think we're quite... Are we sinking yet? I don't know if we're I quite... I mean, that definitely looks, it looks like you're sinking. It does. It's fine. Everything's under control. On the plus side, Tabby didn't have to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Tabby didn't have to see that. So, um, uh, Anna in the chat, uh, Anna gave us five dollars uh, and uh -huh. said, Claire, do another evil laugh. I have to point out that I, I <laughs> did an evil laugh because Grey Morality uh, in chat said, I'm helping! <laughs> exactly in the same kind of, uh, uh, you know, I imagined it in the same kind of tone you always say that to me. Um, okay, let's, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Manage your crew. Right, we got some new names then. We got no, some no, new no, names. No, no, you want me to do a French evil laugh. You have to let me do a French evil laugh. <sighs> your, your evil laugh is terrible. Okay, do you want to have an evil laugh off then? Oh, win, but okay. Oh, right, fine. <clears throat> so the French evil laugh, uh -huh. apparently I am told by the Brits. Yeah. It goes... <laughs> yeah, that's a regular evil laugh. It's my evil laugh, yes. Every time that I do an evil laugh like that, people go, no, no, the French laugh saying... <laughs> okay, will you do your version of what I just did then? <laughs> that was shit. That was so shit. It was not so shit. It really was. Anyway, shout out to Ella who gave us five pounds and said, any chance we're going to get a John and Claire co-op of Overcooked? Uh, maybe at some point, yes. That strikes me as eminently feasible. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Wildcat who uh, wanted to, who gave us five dollars. Also wanted to know if uh, They Are Billions was on your radar at all, given how much you liked Frostpunk. It seems right up your alley. I saw Dan's video on it, so it's a possibility. It's not imminent, but it's a possibility. Also, Ella says she loves me. Oh. That's why we have a cult of Claire. Uh -huh. uh, and shout out again to Grey Morality, who gave us another $5 and said, In my boating experience, you want to keep the water on the outside of the ship. John. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And also have a lifeboat. Yeah. Why, why didn't we have a lifeboat, Claire? <laughs> oh, I see we're doing that. Go on, let's get some names here. Come on, Claire. Where's okay, the names? So, uh, Where's the list? The list is right here. Uh, so uh, what are we having? Mm -mm -mm. We've got... So we have John Marston for the gunner. Ah, the gunner. Yep, fine. John Marston on the guns. Yeah. Uh, Esther on the navigation. On navigation? Okay. Yep. As in Esther is in like Dear Esther? I think so. I don't know what, but yes, like that. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, do, wh who else do you have? Do you have? We a have captain? a sailor and a captain. So the sailor should be Surly. Surly. That's how you spell Surly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And the yeah, captain. Yeah, because the person said like a random red shirt. Yeah. Uh, and the captain was going to be someone named from uh, Dragon Age Origins. That was going to be the uh, next thing. So. Ah, we'll just make him Geralt then. That's fine. <laughs> 
I'm just. Uh, don't worry. I'm just. Okay, I'm number just, one, it's Geralt. Yeah, I'm just trolling them. It's fine. Who? What? Who did you find that was a good person from Dragon Age Origin? Uh, Toa Fai, you need to let me know. Yeah. Uh, because uh, they didn't know the like uh, the char- characters that we had, or if we had. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. or you could just make them Claire. You could just make the captain Claire. Good old Claire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Sure. You have a go. You have a flipping go as captain. Fine. Do you just want an occasion to drown me? Every time. <laughs> right, let's just get up towards you. They're trying to pull away from ours now. Oh, just... she's... Mm-hmm. What? Well, can you rename the captain later? I believe so, yes. Well, we'll do that. We'll rename the captain later because Torfai just came through with a name, so... I believe you can rename people at any point between battles oh, in the journal. And Emily showed up saying, Geralt Bay! <laughs> Hello, Emily. Hi, Emily. <laughs> Right, so we're just kind of just going thing. We've just got the oh. little guys here. Just the little guys. This is all fine. We'll just wait for that. There we go. Just wait for the first few shots to come in. Captain, very good at his job. Just fire at their cannons. Just do a bit of light taps there. Just continue firing. It's basically like in this first ship, just basically lay down the fire. These this first few fights will be pretty simple. We just gain some money. This is like sector one in FTL. So Claire, over to you to uh, bring up the conversation. But he's going to need you to kind of keep the conversation classy and high, you know, extremely highbrow. Well, Z Tactic wanted to know if you're planning on playing more uh, Atom RPG. Uh, yes, actually. In fact, actually, I need to hand over some stuff to the Patreon because they sent me some um, some free codes. I need to hand oh, those cool. back over to the Patreon. Well, I th- apparently we were quite significant in pushing the game. Like, the Atom RPG video got, like, over 100,000 views and a lot of those people did quite like it, wish list it, a few of them backed it on Patreon and stuff. So, not Patreon, on Kickstarter. Uh, yeah. So apparently we were quite significant in helping that game out, which is really cool because it was a really promising game. So I think it has now reached its like first little early access. So uh, I think it will be reappearing at some point. We've been really busy recently, like we've been crazy busy, and that's purely because we have um, Fallout 4 VR came out at like nowhere uh, a little bit. So as a result, that kind of went. That was a bit mad. Um, so yeah, and just yeah. trying to get ready for you know taking a little bit of time off over. Christmas sec. Nothing, nothing insane. Just a day or two. Yeah. John doesn't like taking more time off than that. Even yeah, we'll, we'll take Christmas off to hang out with family. Try to enforce that. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'm going to France for a bit, so I needed to. Uh, yeah. So we. So work. Claire, Claire's kind of had a little bit of um, few bits of holiday floating around, and Fallout 4 VR's kept me busy and out of the way. So as a result of that, yeah, we've kind of had a few bits and pieces to crack on with. I think we're ready to go for a round ready though. I'd rather. Mm, Actually, because I've got a medic, it's going to be very difficult to do that. So we'll kind of just see if I can lay down some fire. Uh, but this is going to be tricky to do. I think we'll probably just have to accept that we're just basically going to keep them busy with the grape shot. And this ship's just going to sink and we're not going to get all the money out of this one. In fact, actually, there's no, there was no reason why I wouldn't have actually gone to the port in the first instance. So I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, right now, you just change your fire over here. Just keep firing on those guys. Medics are really annoying. They keep you so flipping busy. Uh, luckily, the medic is... Actually, looks like the medic just lost a bit of health. And I'm not quite sure why, but okay. Now they're pulling... How are you pulling away from us? Oh, technically, we've actually lost our... Uh, we've actually had ourselves damaged, and they've managed to repair their sails. Uh, but that's absolutely fine, because they're about to sink. So it's not actually a problem. And all systems get auto repair between fights, so it's not an issue. So that goes down. You just go and man the pumps, because why not? You just go over here, fix that up, get us a little bit of money, and then we'll start off. Oh, that's actually 128. That's lucky. We've got 128 first. So, may as well crack straight on, save up some money before we go to the port for the first time, and then just get up close and personal. This, again, should be a fairly simple fight, all things considered. So, Claire, still back over to you. Yeah, a shout out to the Olive who gave us 20 Norwegian krona and said John is always right, especially when he's not. <laughs> so that's uh, now the Olive is your new favourite person. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That seems fair. I'm just going to actually, actually, no, I'll, I'll go over to this one and you, my good man, can just basically man this. Ooh, they've got grape shot. Yeah, they've definitely got grape shot. Fine. Uh, right, have that ready to go and then get back over here and then watch out for the rest of it. Fine. Fire over here. And then fire to you, fire to you. Boom, that's done some good work over there. Right, got to watch out for this because they've got grape shot. So where is the grape shot, by the way? That's double shot. And that's section damager. And assume, yeah, that's the grape shot, but no one's using it right now. Fine. 
watch out for that. And they don't have a medic, which is good. Uh, that is ready to go if I ever need it to be. But I don't actually need it to be because we're happy at our current range. So, let's just go for... That's fine. Uh, no, that's not fine because that's the wrong button. That's better. Uh, right, now. Prepare to fire over here and fire over here. Just keep concentrating fire in that particular area. And boom. That's just got some stuff over there. They're just kind of laying down some light fire. That's all their cannons. We've taken a few light knocks. We'll go to... I think we'll go to port after this battle. This is all fine. I think we've got this under control. So Claire, once again. Uh, shout out to Yannick who gave us $2 and said, Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Uh, and also shout out to Ludici who gave us 50 Norwegian krona and said, I will break into your house and toss your salad. It, it, that's Which quite, is slightly baffling. It's, quite, it's a sexual thing, Claire. Yeah, so I've... I would assume. I'll give. I'll give. I'll let. I'll let. I'll, I'll give Claire the talk about the birds and the bees later. Don't oh, worry. Oh, sort of. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah. Sorry, Yannick just uh, sent in a message for me to do a pirate voice uh, on his uh, super chat. I leave the voices to John because he criticizes me every time. I it's a to good you. idea. It's a very good idea. Right. Well, go on then. Huh. Uh, the super chat was, uh, yo-ho, pirate life for me. Yar, me hearty. Et cetera. Oh, okay. Et cetera. Is that what pirates say? Et cetera. Oh, stop, no, stop firing. Don't flip and fire. Let's just basically get a shot in over to you, and then just send one person over to sort that out. I'll just send the, the gunner over there. Uh, are we into position? Yep, we're into position. Captain, go and help out if need be. And then just basically finish them off and then get off and job done. There we are. That ship taken out. Nice and simple. Got 128 guaranteed. Uh, so two battles, eight to go. We can visit five times. We've taken a few knocks and we've got a ton of money. I'd say let's go to port. So first up, we probably need to top up the crew. So we actually need a few more crew names, Claire. Let's... Okay, so uh, we uh, said that we would... Rename the captain for something from uh, Dragon Age Origins. Yeah. Uh, so, Topaz... Uh, no, we're not renaming now. We're, we're buying new. I'll rename in a second. Right now, we oh, want okay, the new fine, names. Oh, okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, so, the next, uh, the next person was uh, Diotior. I think I'm saying it wrong, but I'm sorry. Uh, so... So, do, was there a preference uh, for... Actually, no, we, we can't rename them here. Hang on, let's just go back to port here. Uh, okay, we're going to have to do the renaming when we sail out to sea. Uh, so for the moment, we're just doing the buying. That because I've bought two new people, so be ready for those guys, but not just quite the second. Right, so spend the money on repairing. I've now got 268 gold to spend on various cannons. Flamethrowers are available, but of potentially limited usage. Fire cluster bomb, because I do like the mortars. The mortars are quite good. So fire cluster bomb uh, causes no hull damage, small section and crew damage, chance of causing fire... Honestly, that feels not like it's doing the damage, to be honest. Cannon is more powerful the further the distance. Okay. High damage at mid-range, very high damage at far range. Not a bad thing to start off with at the beginning of the fight, to be honest. Uh, that costs 100. And then there's the double shot, which is maximum range is close. High hull and section damage. Maximum range. It probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have... Mm. That's 102. I don't, I'm not thrilled by that selection, to be honest. And I don't have an option to have advanced stuff. I could spend 60 just on some hull spikes. Uh, then I could just basically have, yeah, actually do more damage during ramming. And also causes damage to enemy ships if they try and ram you, which is kind of funny. I wouldn't mind the flamethrower, you know. It feels kind of impractical, but... I kind of, I like the idea. I'm just going to put that on the back of the ship over here. I'm just going to put that over here. I might actually instead just drop some money on increasing the number of basic cannons for now. Because I can drop 60 just on that, just to increase the actual firepower. And then I can also increase the 50 for more of that. And let's just check if there's anything else here. I might just actually get the ship, the, the sails up. Because the sails up is quite good. Yeah, I'm just going to go for sails up. So now I've got the third sail. So now basically I should be able to outmaneuver everybody. So I've got good hitting power at the front door with the upgraded cannons and then at the rear I need to remember to if I want to when I close it I can turn around and actually do flamethrower. 
So causes no damage, guaranteed start fires, which would be a really good combo with the grape shot. So I don't actually have any mortars on this occasion. I'm just not to go for mortars. So that's fine. Anything else I could do? No, because I feel like I've already got that. I could sell the lifeboat to make... No! No. No, 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 it's fine. Right, sail back to sea. Manage your crew. Right, so... Claire is no longer the captain. Claire's been fired. Who's the new captain? Isabella. Is, with one L. Is, as, as in, beginning with an I. Yeah. Isabella with one L and an yeah, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Toloff Pi says that's the Dragon Age character who's actually the captain of a pirate ship. That seems appropriate. Yeah. Right, so and two new names. Cool. Two new names. Okay, so the first new name was Diotior. Diotior. Di di oh, you mean di Diotior? Yeah, well, no, because you spelled... Okay, just spell it for me. Um, I O R at the end. Hmm. I O R. Yeah. What you had the first time round. Yeah. Okay. And the other one? Uh, there was pine potato. Pine potato. Well, yeah, pine a potato. P pine. Pine. <laughs> like pineapple, but with potato at the end in one word. Right. P pine a potato. Yeah. That's what I said. Right, okay. That's that's fine then. That's you know what? We don't ask questions. Anyone who's willing to serve on this ship after what happened to the last ship, that's that's acceptable. Right, two battles, eight to go. On we flipping go here. Now, at this point, yeah, we've now got more powerful guns up front, but we've now got a new gunner as well. But actually, we've kind of it's kind of interesting because now we've got actually more gunners than we actually kind of actually need. So I'm gonna move the captain off here. So the captain may as well, I suppose, just go over here. We want to... Yeah, you know what? I'm actually willing to uh, get up close and personal to you. And you are going to get the flamethrowers ready to go. And now we're holding steady. So at this point, that's all 100% fine. So we're getting up close and personal. This is a cultist ship. It's got one of the borders ready. But we have plenty of crew now. So that's fine. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Uh, lay some fire down on the sails. And now let's see what they got. We have got, hang on, let's just find ourselves some cannons. A hull cracker. So likely to cause hull cracks. And they've also got a flamethrower. Marvellous. Right, well, let's lay some fire down on that and try and stop them using the damn thing for the time being. And boom. Right, that's got some good stuff there. So they're going to try and hopefully... Oh, in comes that flamethrower. Right, okay. That's okay. You just put out the fire that the flamethrower just caused. It didn't do that much damage. Uh, so what we want to do is, yeah, that's the manoeuvre bar down the bottom. So you can use that to ram or you can use it to turn round. And we need to use it to turn round if we want to use our flamethrowers, but that's fine. And I want this guy basically just charging up these guns ready to go later. So he can just basically be hanging out at the back and that's A-OK. -okay. So they've got, yeah, they're having to waste time right now just repairing up their sails, which I'm just going to keep. Ooh, that's some good stuff. And by the way... Boom! We just killed two of them, including I think we just killed their special boarder before he was able to board. And they've got a hull breach. They are in a lot of trouble very quickly. This fight's gone very well. So, while we just start wrapping it up, Claire, over to you, I would say. Yeah, we're just uh, having a chat about uh, new names for the list, because it all got used up. Uh, so, um, in the meantime, Robot Miner wanted to know what you think of Fallout 4 VR. Uh, is it worth getting now, or should I wait for a few more patches? It's a, it's a very interesting one. It's a very, very interesting one. I mean, I personally think it's an incredible experience that's very hard to, like, get by virtue of watching it on, <clears throat> on YouTube, to my mind. I think it's very hard to, to fully kind of understand it, so... Is it worth buying a Vive just for that? Probably not, I'd say. Like, not unless... You, well, if you're swimming in money, go for it. Because it's a really incredible, unique experience. But, like, if you are, you know, making cautious purchases about what's the best way to spend £600 that you could, like, get the most value out of, there's so much stuff you could buy on Steam for £600 that would get you more hours of entertainment. Absolutely. But, like, if you are flush and looking to treat yourself... It is a truly unique, special experience that's kind of, it's very hard to, you can't really get it across on YouTube, but it's very hard to describe. It's its truly special and unique. Right, what I'm going to do now, by the way, is my navigation bar, I'm sorry, my maneuver bar's full, so I'm now going to hit the flip button. So now, <coughs> basically what happens is my ship just weirdly naffs off at front, and then in a moment, we will actually find ourselves uh, facing the other way. Uh, because now... <laughs> 
<laughs> my ship basically just does that and everything's fine and no one cares about it. And now, the nice thing is, I've already, of course, pre-actually loaded up these here guns. So these guns are already ready to go. So this guy can just basically naff over here. You can just basically go and... Is there any actual fire? I don't think there's any actual fire. So that's all okay. You need to... Turb Okay, you need to go over here and start working on this. You need to go over here and start working on this. But now we can basically move up to point blank range and we should be able to do that because their sails are boned. And now we are into... Come on, come on, getting there. Oh, we can't quite make it. I don't think we... No, we can because we've got the three... We've actually got the three... Um. Yeah, we've got three, uh, the three masts. That's the word. I just want to get into point blank range. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oi, screw you. Don't you do that. Boom. <laughs> yeah, go away. Uh, are we into... Yeah, we're into point blank range. Fire the flamethrowers. And I thought it was guaranteed to start fires. Oh, never mind. I don't think it did start a fire. No matter. Right, take out your sails. And now take out your things over here. Boom. Right, we just killed one of them, which is fine. Uh, I think we've actually got a couple of breach, uh, hull breaches here. Uh, not hull breaches, that's FTL again. Also, there is fire. Right, I missed the, missed the fact there was fire. And the fire is spreading. Right, that's fine. You, okay, everyone just take a bit of time off and focus on all of that business. Uh, we just need to basically put all of this out right. You just focus over here. You get back over to putting out the fire because that's kind of your job. You can actually get over here. Oh, that fire's spreading. Bloody fire. Uh, okay. This is all fine. This is all fine. It's all under control. Right, you. Fire over here. In fact, actually, we're... This is, I don't know why we don't just board, to be honest. We probably should just board. Just board. Yeah, just, just board. board. Just board. It's fine. Uh, take out their sails to make sure they don't get away. Uh, right, in which case... Actually, I'm just going to wait for one more round of uh, Grape Shot being ready to go. Uh, then we'll be fine to do that. At some point, they might decide to counterboard us. Uh, that'll be fine if so. Right, go, and you just go over here. We're basically just, we're just targeting this guy with a flamethrower. And boom, and that does indeed start some fires, and that gets his health down so flipping fast. And now we can just basically target you, and he's completely screwed. Uh, right, in which case, time to board. Uh, so, you get over here and just attack that guy. You get over here and attack that guy, and you go and help. Uh, the sailors can go and help at this point. They've got fires on their ship, which is fine. And boom, 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 boom. Job done. And their ship's on fire, so we should, probably shouldn't be here. But that's fine. 128. Beautiful. I think we're happy to go straight on to the next. I don't want to waste ports too much. We didn't take much damage there. So now we're into the lightning battle. So it's always the same stuff. Um, they want to get up to me. I'm willing to hold my distance. Uh, and the weapons they've got are... I can't tell because I don't have the advanced cruise nest on this occasion, unfortunately. Uh, right, okay. And I still actually don't have the... Actually, you know what? I might be willing to get up to close range just because... Yeah, this is exact moment in time. I don't have any reason not to be. So I'm willing to move into... Uh, yeah, the kind of mid-range. Also, wait, are we still using the... No, you automatically go back to your default configuration. So the flamethrowers are back at the rear of the ship. So now we are at this range, we should be able to see. So they've got a double shot. Ah, that's why they want to get close. They've got flipping double shot cannons. Okay. We want to take those out. So I can use my grape shot to try and drive them off that cannon to stop them firing it. Okay. So, fire that in. The lack of the mortars is really hurting us, I think. But that just basic default day-to-day -day damage is pretty good. They're going to get a shot in pretty soon. Let's just get some... Oh, we got some good shots in... There, that is four crew members. Just took some damage. They have a medic, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. We've, however, got a spare sailor. So we've actually got the sailor who can just run around. His only job is to patch the hull, which is actually pretty useful on this occasion. So keep it going on. Keep it going on. Just keep knackering their sails momentarily. Boom. And, yeah, just keep going for the sails. That'll keep them distracted. Sails in trouble. And now just... Go for that. Their medic is not in a happy place right now. Their captain is operating the double shot. So they've only got one guy in the guns, but sadly it's on the good gun. Uh, in fact, actually, I might want to just back out to stop him. Ah, but then the moment I re-enter second tier range, he'll totally actually be able to just do it anyway. There goes that. It honestly didn't do that much. I think we can just basically tank a little bit of that, even though we'll have to pay for the repairs later. That was just a basic one. That's not a problem. Everything's under control. Claire, over to you while we're just kind of going on around with this. Yeah, we have uh, an update from uh, Thomas Richter, who gave us uh, two Brazilian reals. Oh, on Groomy OS Cockwars. Uh, yeah, and said nice. um, uh, they lost 1-0 and he's very it's, sad. It's called 1-0, Claire. 
It's okay. typically referred to as one nil. Okay, fine. I don't know about sports ball, so... <laughs> Uh, and we've also got uh, uh, we've also got um, a donation from uh, from uh, Pi One One Two Three Five who gave us a pound. Uh, they don't let you put in messages with one pound donations because that <laughs> YouTube's not as grateful for those as we are. Yeah. Uh, so Tell oh, this is where Patreon got its stupid idea. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to at reply me directly, then I can uh, then I can say your message. But uh, yeah, if you, uh, it's just an annoying thing that it does where clearly it lets you put in a message, but then it doesn't display it. So I'm just gonna go in for a round, sucks. by the way. Brace, brace, brace. Yes. Oh, they've actually got spikes. Oh. They actually have spikes on the edge of their ship. So that wait, guy, wait. That... So you specifically I rammed, I rammed on their into spikes. spikes. Yes, yes, I did. Very nice, very nice. Just killed one of them though. Just killed one of them. So we've got a crew Ooh. member down, which is good. And I think they've actually got a crew member overboard. I think they're actually trying to get a crew member up by the winch right now. So we knocked one overboard, which is going to keep them busy for the time being. Or we can just continue knackering their ship. And actually, they've got no one on guns right now, which works for me. Um, so lovely. Oh, lightning strikes. Actually, we haven't really seen any lightning strikes so far. That seems relatively... Oh, I think the ship exploded. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go up close to watch the ship explode. Hello! I'm going to shoot you while... You oh, you're already dead. Well, that's a shame. And there oh, we go. Oh, target because they're already dead. Because they were already so very anyway, dead. Yeah. yeah, they were very dead. We only get 64 there. We don't get the full 128. So um... So Pi get, got back to us and said that their message was uh, to name the next captain or any character a b bottle of rum. A bottle of rum. A like, bottle of rum. But like spelt in a way that makes a name, obviously. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a bit hard to do puns when like I'm saying it out loud and John can't see how it's written. So yes, sorry that is about true. That. Uh, <laughs> right, both of us are willing to close the gap, but unfortunately in foggy conditions, I'm not sure I can actually see the gun regardless. So we might just have to try and figure out what they're actually using right now, because right now we cannot see particularly effectively. So this is fine. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, by the way, the reason why you want to keep the navigator here is obviously you need the navigator to move to change distances. Also, I think with the navigator, well, the navigator is not there. You're not gaining maneuverability. Maneuverability is quite useful. So let's just actually just lay some fire on their main guns over here. Just to like, just like you know, I think that's just a fairly, what looks like a fairly standard bit of pieces there. Just lay some fire down on them. Just hit their ships. Oh, they've got, they've got, wait, they've got four medics. They've got four medics on their ship. Yeah, they know you're coming. That's ridiculous. It's just, it's just a chain of medics healing each other. Oh, that's so stupid. Right, okay. In that case, we just need to... Uh, we just need to basically... Okay. You just start loading these guns. Start loading the rear guns over here. Um, that's actually ridiculous. There's almost no point using the grape shot because it just doesn't... It's not going to do anything. Uh, that's so... But it'll keep them busy, I guess. We need to actually concentrate all fire on, like, every single one of them in order to have any chance of killing anyone on this ship. Uh, but I guess we could just go for rams over and over and just kind of hope that's good enough. In fact, yeah, that's probably not a terrible idea. I'm just going to go for a ram as soon as available. So, brace and boom! I think they just tried to send someone over to us. Oh, yeah, they did. Okay, they've got one person moving over there. Right, you get over here. You take out that guy together. We should be able to take him out pretty quickly. Yeah, okay. They sent someone over towards ours. One of their medics is overboard. You need to get out of there because he's about to explode. So you just basically go over and heal yourself up while that's clearing out of the way. Okay. More over there. Boom. I think we managed to... We're not taking out anyone. Luckily, they're all too busy healing each other to actually do any, like, you know, proper business or anything. So that's good. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, the round did pretty well, though. We just kind of continue to lay down, suppressing fire. You're pretty much back up to full health. Has that done any damage? That's done one breach. So you go and turn your attention to that for the time being. Boom. And can now continue loading these guns. We may as well have this guy while he's not doing anything else. Just kind of load these guns. Uh, that gun is actually turn your attention to the hull crack. Hull cracks are more important. And keep those sails out of the way. Keep you guys out of the way. Once again, there's absolutely no chance we're going to kill anyone else. I don't even know how we killed one guy. Because we've killed one of the medics. I think it was one of the guys who went overboard. Uh, so there's just a ridiculous chain healing going on. But it kind of seems to be working for the time being. It's just going to keep laying down that fire. It just stops them actually firing their guns, which is fine. So 
I mean, I've got a gunner on this thing, so it's just kind of slowing them down a bit. It just means they can't do anything else, and it also means their cells completely boned. I think at this point we can go in for the ram. Brace, 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 and dumb. We were never going to be able to take that ship because with so many medics, their captain would basically have been a killer, but it would be like a guy who's good at fighting being constantly surrounded by a team of dedicated healers. Like, I don't, I think he actually wouldn't have been killable. So, oh, luckily we actually got 128 anyway, which is good. So five battles to go, four remaining visits. So let's go to port uh, and actually do that. Uh, I think we're okay on, yeah, we've got a full crew right now. So instead we just need to repair up, which is only 32, which gives us plenty of money for everything else we need in the world, which is pretty good. Heavy hull spikes might be kind of hilarious. That might be kind of funny. So that's both defensive and defensive? Yeah, so it, it causes damage to enemy ships if they ram you. But I've never seen an enemy ship try and ram me yet, so I don't even know if they do that uh, at this point. So actually, upgrading the, um, the maneuver bar upgrade by upgrading the helm for 75 and going for heavy hull spikes, we can just basically go ram, 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 over and over. That's 175. <coughs> that doesn't even cost that much. So that's pr that could be pretty fun, actually. Well, yeah, but if you're buying an upgrade that allows you to do more ramming, surely you should then, on top of that, go for the spikes. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I was saying. Like it would be hundred, ah, yeah. it would be 175 total. Oh, I see. And oh. then I've got, and then I've got enough change left over <coughs> to also buy something else, or I could just upgrade my main cannons and just say, screw, it. I'm just going to basically rely on day-to-day -day cannons being backed up because that's just a basic round shot. That's just a flaming, which just causes some fires. But I'm pretty, I am pretty think I'm happy without that, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather spend... Oh, there's just a mortar. I could just have a mortar. Yeah, it damages crew in the air, stopping them from entering until the effect has passed. That would stop them doing repairs. And it only costs 65. Yeah, I'm going to go for an acid bomb, uh, which is pretty cool. And as I don't really like, I'm not thrilled by the rest of it, I'm actually going to go for... The heavy health, the um, the heavy health spikes. So Excellent. heavy health spikes and upgrade the helm, mm. so that now I've still got eighty nine spare. I've already healed up, so as a result of that, I can. Well, you could I get the can... icebreaker for the next time you want to get rid of the lifeboats. Well, I'm gonna guess that what's actually going on is like there's probably in like one of the ones we haven't seen yet. There's going to be Arctic ice fields. That's gonna be one of the final hazards we take on later. So it might not be a bad idea, uh, but I might just save my money for the next time we're back. Sure. Um, so I feel like we're... Actually, no. Hang on. There is one more thing I could do. I could just spend money upgrading my cannons. I could go max and max. Yeah. I'm just going to max out yeah. these cannons. So now those cannons are... Now there's basically there's more, just, there's just more cannons present. Return to port. I don't, I've already got a full crew. Sail back to sea. Next battle. And now we're up to the... Ah, now we've got Torrential Rain. So as a result, yeah, that all goes down. So you now by default can be working on this. I'm happy to move up to these guys. And they are... They're trying to pull away from me. But I think because I've got the three mass, I can actually determine how this battle's going to go. Now what have we got here? What are you guys manning? Standard round shot on the right. And a lobber, which is better the higher the range. So, actually, if I can just basically get up close, which I'm already pretty close, then their cannons are not as effective. Fires are not going to happen as much, full stop, which is pretty good. There's a whole group of people right here, and they don't have a medic, which is really nice. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Their lobber can't do as much right now. I think they've got a... Actually, no, they've got a mortar. They've got a hull destroyer. Okay, so it causes a single hull crack. Very high hull damage. Right, I want that thing taken out, if at all possible. So I'm just going to basically fire my thing over there to stop him working on it. And then I'm just going to focus my firepower over here as well. Fire, fire. Oh, yeah. I think that's you in a lot of trouble. And actually, oh, look at the acid. Oh, the acid damage. Oh, you stupid bastard just standing right on top of it. Boom. I think I just killed at least one of them. Yeah. That's done some good work. And now they're no longer using the thing. The AI is not very good at getting out of the acid range. That works for me. Yes? Nothing. There was a, there was a super chat that made me laugh because I'm like 12. Oh, go on then. Uh, Larry gave us $20 and said, John will ram anything. I will. Uh -huh. Yeah, not wrong. How are they getting away from me? Their sails are damaged and mine aren't. But they're somehow managing to pull away from us. And I'm not quite sure how they're doing that. <laughs> 
Thomas messaged me in the chat to say, Claire, before you read that, that is also a sex thing. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm not sure how they've managed to pull away from us because we've got three sales and our sales are in perfect condition and their sales were not. Are you sure that your sales are all right? Yeah, look at the bottom right. Look, they were literally perfect. I don't know how they've. I just don't know how they've done that. Uh, they must have some form of special upgrade pertaining to that. But I think this this fight's going pretty well. We're now we're trying to pull towards them, but we can't quite get up to them. And their lobber is being more effective on account of that, which is very irritating. Right, there's a group of them right there. I'm just going to drop the acid on top of them. And boom, nice. Now I'm just going to focus my firepower over there as well. Yeah, with the acid and with the fully upgraded cannons, I feel like actually we're doing pretty nicely on that. And just keep those sails going down. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Okay. Also, they're apparently I've hit their med bay. I don't even know where, they're in, where their sick bay is, but apparently we've done some good damage to it. I think we're, we were momentarily pulling towards them there. We've got the... You know, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to swap this round. I'm going to move you to here. I'm going to move my gunner. Up to then, because uh, the gunner obviously reloads faster. And I just want their sails destroyed. So I want the guy who can basically get the fastest reload on there. Uh, they're kind of spread out at the minute. So I'm just going to drop some acid over there. Hey John, there's no navigator? Huh? Oh, flip. That would be why, yes. He was he was standing... It's because I took him off the station to yeah, um, yeah, to, yeah, do a, yeah, yeah. to deal with a breach. Okay, now we're significantly outmaneuvering them, yes. <laughs> Okay, also, so long your captain. Boom, captain dead. Nice. A sometimes YouTuber gave us two pounds and said, pulling away from John's ramming? <laughs> With like a smiley face that I will not attempt to describe. Uh, well, it's probably smiley. I mean, it's one of those complicated ones that is looking like... It's one of those complicated smileys. Yes, look at it. That's made with like. Claire found the characters. emoji movie very intellectually challenging. Oh, sod off. <laughs> okay, I'm loving this acid bomb. The acid bomb and the grape <laughs> shot together works so nicely at tearing apart enemy crews. That's a really good combo, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And their med bay's in a lot of trouble. They've got plenty, yet yeah, their sails are boned. Now I'm just going to kill this person. Boom, and now that's it. They've got no one on guns anymore. That guy's desperately trying to deal with the sails. Now we can basically just go over and deal with all of this. In fact, everyone, you go over and heal yourself up. Get ready to be aboard. We'll go and basically board them momentarily. In fact, actually, I'm going to drop an acid bomb right on top of this guy. <laughs> this feels like an inappropriate use for a mortar, but look at it. When you're, If they're trying to repair, they don't move off their station. They refuse to move off the station. Now we just shoot him. And now I can just send my captain to go and murder him. Uh, because they, he abs they absolutely refuse. Uh, so now, yep, yeah, and down he goes. Ship is ours. That should be 128, guaranteed. Uh, actually, 64 and 42 supplies, which unfortunately I don't think does anything uh, in this mode. Uh, but still, I've got them. So don't bother going to port. We barely took any damage there, I don't think. No, we didn't take any damage at all. Right, now we're on to the tidal wave fight. So I want to, once again, kind of push towards these guys. And with my three cells, I think we're outmaneuvering them, which is good. So you want to get over there. In fact, actually, I'm going to save those new positions. So I want him to automatically be starting to work on the mortar. The, they, the, yeah, the acid mortar is pretty bloody good. I like the acid mortar. Now, this is another ship that's got multiple medics on it. So I don't want to board this thing. Uh, as soon as I'm up to, yeah, tier 2, now I should be able to see what they've got. One lobber works better at range, and a section damager, zero hull damage. Fine. So I want to stay as close to these guys as possible, if I can. So, there's not much point, actually. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on the grape shot. Because the nice thing about the grape shot is, oh, what the hell have you got over there? That is, I assume that's a, hang on, what is that? That is a, I oh, can't see it. I'm going to swap round the gunner onto this thing. I'm going to bring you over here. Uh, oh, they've got a flipping thing as well. I'd rather have my... out. They've actually got... Okay, they've got several guns. As it turns out, they have guns. Uh, and also, I want to have one of you over to here. One of you over to here. Yeah, there we go. Um... Scrap. Just want, okay. I'll get. I'll get on the water in just a second. I just want to. I'm gonna put some fire over to. Where do I want to start? Where's their med bay? The med bay's at the front. 
Screw it. I'm just going to put some fire right on here. Boom. Okay. Now, that draws their attention to this area. That's... Why are you not working on this? You should be working on this. Okay. Now, I want to drop this right on top of the guys who are trying to do the repairs. Boom. Now, I want you to get on with that. Okay. And as soon as that actually lands... Boom. Yeah. They're going to try and get on this. And then, I can actually... As soon as that's there, now I can hit there with the grape shot. Boom! That does some good damage. Sadly, with the medics present, it's a bit difficult to make it stick. Uh, okay, I need to... There's a lot of fire coming in here. I'm just going to go in for a ram, because I've got those new heavy spikes. Go in for the ram, go in for the ram, go in for the ram. Brace, 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 brace. This should do some good damage. That is some big damage right there. They did not like that one bit. Okay. Back off here, back off. Uh, you, I want you to put up those fires. Okay, that's all fine. Uh, water's getting a little bit on the high side. Uh, I would accept. So, time for a couple of guys to just start focusing over here on just getting them down. And my navigator should momentarily move over to the pumps. Uh, I want to move back out of range. One of their guys is taking some damage. I missed the brace check. There's a tidal wave. Man overboard. We do indeed have a man overboard. It's our navigator. Uh, that's fine. I've got Surly at the back of the ship. He can get on the winch momentarily. Okay. Surly, get on the winch. That's all fine. Uh, these ships are momentarily ready to go. How are you doing? You get on that. And then you get on that. And then momentarily, as soon as we've got that guy back up aboard here. Out! They've got a lot of firepower. They've got more firepower than I was expecting. Uh, right, okay. You... Back on the wheel. Back on the wheel over here. Because we're doing a load... No, you're the wrong person. You... Get over there. You, get on there. You, get on the pumps. Get on the pumps and get some of this water out of the way. Uh, my basic day-to-day -day cannons, together with ramming, are doing a competent enough job for now. They've actually got the advantage over us just for the second. I need to get the... Okay, you get working on that. Yeah, get the, get the sails back up and running. We, I kind of want to get close to them. Once our sails are back up to normal conditions... We should be okay to actually start pulling up towards them again, which will be good. Fire, 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 fire. At this point, I think I'm just going to... Ouch! They've got a lot of cannons. The acid thing is almost ready to go. Drop some acid on them. Yeah, just do some damage to them. Unfortunately, with the medics present, it's not as effective as it was. They actually managed to dodge that, the sneaky bastards. Uh, we've got some fire spreading. Uh, but there'll be a tidal wave at some point. So, actually, you know what? Leave that. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Um, we're almost ready for... We should be almost... We should be ready for ramming anyway. Why are we not ready for ramming? Uh, you go and maybe put out some of those fires. Uh, we should be ready to, to ram here. Tidal wave incoming! Brace, brace, brace! Okay, I think we got the brace check that time. And... Yep, yeah, everyone actually successfully managed to do their job. And that actually put the fires out for me. Which really did help. Uh, right, you get over here. Help out. Uh, prepare to drop a great big acid bomb on these bastards. Ouch, lots of fire coming in. And boom. And momentarily we'll have all of that ready to go. And ready? Boom, we just got the captain. Captain dead. So that's one crew member down, which will give us a good advantage. And we're ready to go in for, I'm going in for the ram. Brace for ram. And they've got actually, they have spikes too. We were just... Well, we had, we had bigger spikes. We have bigger oh, spikes. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you comparing spike sizes? My spikes were bigger. Uh-huh. My spikes were bigger. We survived. We survived. We took some damage. Uh, and it's just 64. Right, okay. Seven battles, three to go. I have three many visits, so I may as well just go back to port purely to heal up. So, while I'm just having a little looksy around the various upgrades that might be available. Claire, back over to you. Uh, yeah, we've got a message from Paul who gave us, uh, who sent us two dollars uh, and said, it's a shame the French have no word for double entendre. Um, there are <laughs> like a that. lot of people. Uh, I've been duly informed by the chat that the complicated emoji is called a Lenny face. Lenny face? In reference to uh, Lenny from The Simpsons. Ah. Uh, but it's just, it's like done with a bunch of characters instead of being like an actual oh, image, okay. you know. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's um, interesting. I only care about the shrug one of those, so anyway. Uh -huh. um, and also a shout out to uh, another Paul who gave us $10 uh, and said, late to the stream, but I wanted to congratulate you on your sternly worded letter to Patreon, John. Oh, thank you. 
Yeah, you didn't even see the strongly worded emails. Oh, he was I was emailing <laughs> backwards oh and forwards in the most passive aggressive way possible. So I really wanted to passive e- aggressive. I was trying to make it clear I am annoyed without being actively rude at the poor woman because it's not her fault. She was just the cut. She was just like you know outreach or whatever. The job yeah, because we has. talked to her about something different, and I don't think that was actually like we just happened to have her email. No, her job was was to outreach with people who have Patreon accounts. That's that was legit that we spoke to about it that was totally legit that was just the oh no it's different this time Ooh, icebergs okay oh. this is the point where we're sad we don't have the icebreaker because that's going to cause damage okay so we're going to apparently i think we're both going to take damage from from that as time goes by so everyone just starts working on that and now captain's going to work over here actually let's have a look lucy who's leveled up their skill so you can see that everyone's getting slowly better some people are just still only two, but some people have gone up to, like, three. So, like, you know, we're, our maneuver bar is getting up and up. They don't have spikes, which is good. They don't have spikes. Now we're nice and close. We can see they've got a flaming. Fine. So they've got they've got double flaming. Okay. And over here they've got chain shot. And up there they've got a chain shot again. Okay, so they've got double chain shot and double flaming. So they're going to be knackering our sails and trying to start fires. Uh, they also have three separate medics, so our attempts to use our own chain shot might be difficult. But I'll give it a go, because with the acid, we might have a shot. So I'm just going to basically just see how that starts off. But we need to basically, our repair guy is going to have to be just repairing the sails a lot just to keep our maneuverability up. They're actually just, we're actually almost ready for our first ram. In fact, actually, we're ready for our first ram before the first fire, actually, before the first fire is even exchanged. Which is kind of hilarious. Um, let's just actually just lay some fire at just over here. Because there's a bunch of people over there. And then also lay a whole bunch of acid over there. Uh, okay, we've just laid a whole bunch of trouble over there. And then I'm going to drop the acid on their guy. That's going to cause some trouble. And then in a moment, I'm going to basically just say... Right, that's faded. And then fire over here. I think we just killed their border immediately. Fine. So I'm happy with that. Because that means their border's dead. Now I'm going to go straight in for a ram... And brace, 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 and boom. That does some good damage. That works. Ooh. That works pretty well, actually. And you also fired from really close there. Yeah, which I think for the cannons does make a difference. Now, they do actually have... Yeah, they've actually got themselves... Mm, where are they running right now? I tell you what, they're trying to run over to the medical lab. So I'm just going to basically drop the, um, the acid on the medical. They're trying to send one of their boarders over towards me. Okay, that's fine. And also, we've got fire. And no way to really put it out guaranteed. So I'm just going to fire this. Then I'm going to send this guy to start putting out the fires. The captain needs to help out with uh, with the border, unfortunately. So you need to go over there and you need to help him out. Uh, anyone else we can help out there. Boom. We'll just kind of get some nice taps in over there. We're going to take some damage. They've got the double flaming cannon, which is why there's fires everywhere right now. But my best bet is probably just to basically just go for rams over and over and over again. And we're just going to basically ram and brace. And we just need to keep our navigator at the helm. And oh, uh oh, captain, 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 captain. Almost lost the captain there. Is your navigator currently at the helm? Navigator is currently at helm, yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to actually take a break from actually firing weapons in order to pretty much put out all the fires. Because we have a lot of fires on the ship right now. So everyone is now just on firefighting duty while I just hover at rank 2 and just basically put out the fires. Okay, there we go. You, back to over here. More flaming coming over there. That is more fires. You, just keep putting that out, please. You're taking a lot of damage. Do not stand actually on the fire, however. Stand close to the fire. Stop firing, you bastards. Uh, right, you get on the get on the cannons. That's. I think they've got an acid bomb, actually. I think they, they agree the acid bomb is amazing. Uh, but screw it. I'm just going to go in for rams. They can do what they want. I'm just going to ram them over and over and over forever. That should be it. Oh, not quite, but close. Close, 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 close. Back off, back off, back off. Right. They're going to be in trouble momentarily. You get back on this gun. That's ready to fire. Screw you over there. Boom. That's going to get him off that gun. Fine. One of their chain shots is down. Our sails are completely screwed. So I've no idea how we're ramming. But the game says the maneuver bar goes up. You're in trouble. Uh-oh. He's... Are you currently... I think he's currently knocked down. Help him. Help him. Stabilize him, please. Oh, flip. I think we might be about to lose one of our guns. He's stuck on the ground. I don't know if there's anything we can do about it. 
I think we might have a moment to stabilize him after he, he after he goes down. You get down onto the basic cannons, and no, he's gone. He was he was knocked off his feet by a fire, which is a real shame. And their their ships just exploded as well. So we lost a gunner. Uh, who died? It was John Marston. John Marston just went down. Tragically, there were just too many fires. Right, two battles to go. Two port trips. Just get back to the shops. Fix the ship. 48 damage, which is not much. I wouldn't mind a hull destroyer, but I'm not willing to pay all of that for it. Um, yeah, in fact, we've basically got no money. So I think we... If we can, I'm going to go to port. I, I doubt we can actually afford anyone. If anyone's cheap enough, no, we cannot afford a new gunner. So we're actually down a crew member right now. But I kind of, I wanted to prioritise just getting the, uh, getting the ship up to full health. We've made it further than last time. So, back to sea, next battle. Now we've got, ah, now it's the volcano. So it's a bit randomised, because last time the volcano happened before the ice field. So they're willing to come and give battle to us directly. So in which case, actually I'm going to keep you on there. How many, they've got one medic. These guys have no, you actually stay on there actually. Uh, but I'm actually not going to bother taking out their sails. I'm just going to focus on this for the time being. So I'm just going to say, you get on there, you get on there. Save those new positions for the time being. I'm just going to leave their sails alone. Now what's the spare guns they've got? They've got bar shots. Stop enemy movement. Okay. Does no damage at all, but stops maneuvers for a short duration. Can be targeted at sails, infinite range. Okay, I think we can just basically outspeed them and just ram them. They've got a flamethrower. And they've got a double shot. So they want to be at close range. Because with flamethrowers and double shots, they do the most damage at close range. And they've got a sniper. Sniper is dangerous. Really dangerous. Uh, but I think we'll be okay if we just kind of lay some fire down right here on these two lads. Right, lay the fire down. And momentarily prepare to lay down the acid bomb. Because now these guys are going to try and respond to all of that. Yep, they're trying to repair that damage. Drop the acid bomb right on top of them. And now just wait. There's that sniper shot, which is flipping dangerous. And the acid does so much. And boom, two dead. Two dead immediately. I think the captain's dead, in fact. Uh, we've got a small problem of a fire, which I'm now going to not underestimate on this occasion. Because that caused trouble last time. That's a lot of damage being done to their ship. They're very distracted. In fact, actually get back on the mortar. So the mortar is... In comes all of the flipping. Yep, in come the rocks. In come the rocks. Okay, you need to get over to the med station because you're badly injured. Captain, turn your attention to the mortar, please. Uh, we've got some fires. I think I can actually get some. I think I can, while they're distracted by the fires, I might be able to get make this work. You actually just work on the, the hull breaches. We let the hull breaches get out of hand last time and it cost us. I just want to get one shot off here. One shot and then you're healthy enough. Get on, get on the hull breaches. That's more fire. They've got more flaming stuff here. Right, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, drop the acid on that group. That group's taking damage. That's going to take a load of damage over there. The acid does ludicrous and... No, you don't. Two dead. That's both their gunners down. Oh, the acid, the acid and the train, the acid and the chain shot together. That's so nice. Uh, the problem is... Okay, we just need to get these fires out. Um, turn your attention. In fact, actually, screw it. Everyone, everyone on fire duty right now. There are too many fires and fires spread. And I think they spread basically exponentially. So we really want to be just focusing on that for one second. Okay, seriously. Right, okay. I think we're okay. Oh, in comes more fire, by the way. There's more flipping fire coming. Cause of course, there is. Um, that's, yeah, that's their fire shot and my flame shots. You're badly damaged. Get over to the meds. Oh, balling hell. Um, okay. We've got two guys over there. In fact, actually, no. Do not fire yet. Wait for them to be distracted by something. You go and get the fires out. The volcano has stopped for the time being. You get off the... Yeah, get off that. Get over here. The best bet we've got is... Ah, they're still firing. Right, okay. Actually, you know what? I see, I see the, the opportunity there. It's right there. No. Just drop the payload. Right there. No. Section needs repairing. What section? Just get on there. Just get on that section. What do you mean section needs repair? Okay, you're willing to drop over there, obviously. That's just weird. Uh, okay, screw it. Just get some shots in over there. Get those guys a bit damaged. <sighs> okay, you get back over here. Uh, you deal with that. You take care of this. You are now fine to get back on the guns. Because right now they're firing at us with their day-to-day -day weapons. And we're not at them. 
which is a problem. You get over here, work on this. Get these fires out. And they're continuing to fire. The sails are bowed. Uh, ah, that's why they couldn't fire. Uh oh, you are actually standing in fire. Do not stand in fire. Do not stand in fire. We're in trouble. Um, going in for the... Can I go in for the ram? Why can't I go in for the ram? Probably because I don't have sails or helm or something. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You, get over, heal yourself. Get over there and heal yourself. This is kind of not my favourite thing. The volcano, I think, screwed us up last time as well. Uh, okay. I need you to get over here and handle this. But actually, I think until until the sections repair... Oh, bloody hell, there's never-ending! Never-ending fire! Okay, I need to... The flamethrower. I'm going to pull... I can't pull back from the flamethrower because right now my navigator is... He's busy being like, you know, trying to heal up. Okay, <coughs> you get over here. We were doing pretty well on the old just stopping them from actually doing anything business. But now... Okay, this section needs to be repaired. You need to get over there. Where the... The navigator is currently... Okay, the navigator needs to... Okay, get the navigator on here. And then just prepare to... Why can we not ram at this point? Masts need some form of repair. Captain is also in trouble and needs to fix this up. You need to get on here and take out some of this. You need to get over here and sort this out. Until the masts are fixed, we can't do a ram. And I don't think we can fire the acid shot either. So I need somebody to just get on the weapons, please. Just get on the damn weapons. No, that... Okay, those cannons are screwed. Get on these weapons instead. Get over here. Hit you guys. Okay, in comes more flipping fire and more damage. We are in so much trouble. I think I just need everyone just to focus down over here and just say, screw it. Get the ship back on a stable footing. Leave one person working on cannons. One person working on cannons. And that's it. Just, just get repaired up after that point. In comes more fire. And you are in trouble. Get away from there. How's the water? The water will stand for the time being. We've got one bit of fire going. You need to get over here. Uh, you put those fires out. It's just non-stop fire. We just can't keep... The problem is we're just down the crew members. I cannot keep on top of the fires right now. You get over here. Seriously, you get over here. Get this thing fixed. That's now fixing up the mortar. Okay, you get this fire out. You get this fire out. Just put out the cocking fires. We're almost, almost back to where we want to be. A little bit. Um... Have your fire over here. That's fine. We've got that up there. Okay, the mortar is now momentarily going to be going up again. I think we actually want to pull out. I think we want to pull back to level 3. If we, The moment we can, I think we should pull back to level 3. And when we say the moment we can, that's going to be difficult to do. Because we're constantly under flipping attack right now. Uh, but if we pull out level 3, the flamethrower won't be able to hit us anymore. Am I actually taking damage right now? Uh, yes, yes I am. You get on the pumps. The water's becoming a concern. Um, as soon as we've got that, okay. In theory, we could, I want to move us back to three. Pull us back. Ah, oh, they're trying to pursue. They know they've got the advantage. Water's going up. Ship health is going down. If you could just man this. Can you man this? Is this actually up for grabs? Yeah, there we go. Good. We got that up for grabs. Uh, that's going to do some good work at least. That's going to get their health down, which is hopefully going to drive them off. Sadly, I do not have anyone on the other guns right now. Those guns are screwed. I'm just going to get the captain over to here. And I'm going to hope that we can just out-pump them. Um, if we can just keep ourselves going here. Just go, 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 go. Okay. This guy is... The water is going down. Even though we still have some hull breaches. That's fine. You get this underway. We're almost ready for an acid. Yeah, here we go. We're actually ready for an acid double build. I just need to, I just need to find the, the spot for it. And I think it's right here. I want to take this guy out. Because this guy is the guy who's causing me trouble. Okay, hit that guy, hit that guy, hit that guy, hit that guy, hit that guy. And boom. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. Dead. Okay. I'm taking out their crew one by one. If I can just take out the crew, they can't fire the guns. It's that simple. If they can't fire the guns, they're not firing the flamethrower. If they're not firing the flamethrower, there's less fires for me to take care of. Water is going down at this point, but it's... Ooh, um, okay, you move over to here. Just Are you taking damage right now? No, you're not taking damage. 
you should probably just be focused down over here. Just focus down over here. Get this area healed up. Get that underway. Ugh. I've still got the fire in. I'm pretty sure you're standing on top of fire right now. I'm pretty sure there's actually a hull breach and a fire at the same spot. You just need to go and heal up. Because otherwise you will die. You need to go over here and put this out. The flamethrower is just knackering me. And I cannot get out of range. Uh, still on... Four. Right, I can draw their medic off the flamethrower by virtue of just shooting someone else. It doesn't help that much. This gun's almost ready to go. There we go. That's caused some damage to one of your systems. But now I've only got one actual set of cannons at the front. If I could just get the sails fixed up and this guy at the... I actually think we're okay for the time being. I'm going to move him over to that. We've almost got the fires under control. And now I've said that, obviously, immediately, there's going to be volcanic eruptions. So that's that's fine. In fact, actually, I think I just heard the volcanic... Yeah, there it comes! Okay, it's fine. So it's under control. It's under control. They've actually got more health than us right now. We actually have more crew than them. I'm going to send this guy over here just to heal up because I'm worried by the possibility of him just being hit. If I could just, just, just get this under control. You get on here. Man this. Get that healed up. You, Captain Gunner. You, okay. You get this healed up because that's your job. You, uh, Gunner, get on this. That's your job. And one of the other sailors, just get the fires out. Get the flipping fires out. You, Navigator, get back on your... In fact, actually, on your way to getting back to your station, help with the fires. You continue putting fires out. There's a fire going on over there. Not much we can do about that. We're just slowly wearing them down here. Slowly wearing it down. Slowly wearing it down. It's fine. Everything's under control. We've almost got the sails back. And with the <coughs> sails back and our Navigator, I'd say it's time for a ram. So uh, let's just go in for a ram. Brace, 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 brace. Screw you, you stupid bastards. That's leveled the playing field a little bit. That has leveled the playing field quite a lot, in fact. Okay, now, prepare to drop. Where are they trying to heal? I think they're trying to heal right there. Drop it right on them. R drop it right on them right now. Oh, I think they moved out of the way. Uh, the medic's taking a little bit of damage. Okay, you just get on that. Get on that. We've got ourselves... Oh, flip the pumps, the pumps, the pumps, the pumps, the pumps. We need to get the pumps right now. Okay, you off... Off the guns, off the guns. We just need to do anything. Anything to stop the ship actually sinking right now. Okay, this is fine. Fight back the fire, fight back the fire, fight back the fire. You, the mast is acceptable. Get on the guns, just get on the guns, continue firing. We've almost got this. We're kind of close to having this. Oh, it's really close. I just need to... Okay, if I could get the... If I can get the navigator back on the wheel, I can get another ram in. Another ram will settle it for us. Uh, but we've almost got the... How's the water situation? Water is going up. Okay. Screw it. Forget healing the actual things and forget the fire. Forget any of that. Because if we can just keep water under control, just for the time being, you, Captain, get on this, get on this, get on this. Okay, actually, no, that's ready to fire ready. That's ready to fire ready. Go. That'll take care of them. It'll stop them being here. Um, I can hear more coming in though. That's about to be the volcanoes. This system is actually back up to being ready to go. We might actually be able to get some cannon shots in. Please just kill them. Kill them, kill them, kill them. There's now fire. The water is now going down. I don't actually care about the fire at this point. The fire is just a thing. Fire is just a thing we have to deal with. We're pretty much level pegging on... If that fire spreads actually, if that fire spreads we're in trouble. I kind of need you to... Okay, you need to also put out the fire that's right next to you or it will actually kill you. Uh, you get on this. That cannon needs to be repaired because it can't be fired right now. This cannon is acceptable for the time being. Continue focusing. If we can just drop the acid on this spot right here. How are you healing up? How do you heal? Oh, you've got the medic at the back. That'd be why. Uh, we can't use our medic bay anymore because plain and simple, we just... Uh, yeah, we just basically, our medic bay is now just filled with fire. They're firing fire at us. Water is acceptable. I need to sort out that whole breach. You are now, ah, oh, that's ready to go. That's ready to go. That's ready to go. That's ready to go. You're trying to heal that up. Boom. And now we've got ourselves, we're taking a lot of damage off the volcano, but so are they. This is down to the wire. This is now down to the absolute flipping wire. Um, if I can just keep the, the waters in trouble... 
I need to just patch that. You need to get over here and just get the water under control. If we can just get the flipping maneuvers back up. If I can get one more maneuver in, I think I can win this with a ram. Just. But it's going to be extremely tight at this point. It's all down to where the next few shots land. And it's my maneuver bar is going up very slowly. I can get one hit in, but this does not do. Okay, this can drive him off the... Hang on, which cannon's which? That's the double shot. Okay, drive him off the double shot, because that's what's going to... If anything's going to kill me, it's that. Okay, so just drive him straight off that. Drive him off there. He gets off there. Okay, now he can't use the double shot. You are trying to use the flamethrower. We're ahead for the moment. I just need to... Come on, come on, come on. Just look at that bar. Look at that bar. Look at that bar. We've got someone on the helm. Ram! This is it. This is it. Brace, 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 brace. We win. We've got it. We've got it. We've, we've got it. We've flipping got it. Our ship has no health, but we have won. And the ship's on fire. We can't get to the front of the ship. And we get 128 out of that. Nine battles. There's one battle to go. Go back to port. Go back to port. Okay. Visit the local shops. I think I need to repair my ship, which is going to cost, like, all my flipping money. Okay. I think I just need to go on... I need to... I can't afford to buy anything else. I just need to get more crew. Because I need, I need the extra crew member. I'm hurting for having only one gunner. I need an extra gunner. And the gunner costs exactly the right amount. Which is perfect. Sorry, I was talking for a long time there, but yeah. that was pretty tense. That was pretty tense. No, I know that was pretty tense. I just didn't really want to interrupt. Sorry. You right, we've got a we've got a name as well. We've got we do actually have a name, which oh, is fine. For whom? For a new gunner. For the, a new, for new gunner. Gunner. So new gunner. um. Oh, blimey! Oh, yes. that was crazy. Uh, yeah. So Roderick was uh, asked us uh, really early on, but uh. Is Roderick with with CK? CK yeah, 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 yeah. Sir Roderick the gunner. Okay, this is the final boss of the of the demo. This is the final <laughs> boss of the demo now. I've not seen this before. I've no idea what it's going to be. I'm right. guessing it might be a sea monster. Bow of your ship bow, uh, bow of your ship bites deep into an oncoming wave. Spray flies up, drenching the crew. Flashes of lightning illuminate terrifying large coming tidal waves. Okay, it's tidal waves and lightning. No, it is a normal ship. It's not a sea monster. The sea monsters have not yet been added. They're trying to pull away from us. John's like, oh, I've been talking for a really long time. And then keeps talking Sorry, really long sorry, time. sorry. Carry on, Claire, while I well, just have a little loopsy over this shit. Well, to Ella, who's uh, <laughs> probably going to hear this uh, when she watched up. She has a whole video. Uh, but she gave us £50. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much indeed. Said, um, I have to go now because my parents are calling me. I thought I'd donate a little bit more since it's Christmas. Love you guys with a little heart. So that was lovely. Um, Urban Cohort uh, gave us five dollars and said, "You need fifty percent more men." Uh, also, times uh, also we do need fifty percent more men. That's so, very true. His, um, oh, um, if it was a little bit earlier, I don't know. It just came in, but there's a time set for earlier in the video. Uh, also, sometimes YouTuber was commenting on uh, whether we should get icebreakers or not, mm. uh, as we were chatting. Well, uh, as it turns out, this chat. is the final boss, and we don't need it for the uh, for the final boss. Though it seems like it might be still semi-randomized, so that's fine. Carry well, on. He gave us uh, five pounds and said, "John, you're British. Your icebreaker is talking about the weather. Just lean over the side and go this weather. Am I right?" <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Uh, yeah, and also this is the last chance to uh, honour this uh, from uh, Ludity who gave us uh, a 15 Norwegian krona and says, Could we hear John talking like a pirate for one whole battle? Ooh, one whole battle. The battles are quite long, so I don't think so. I think that, that might be a uh, bit you long. You should do it for a little bit at least. Also, he wants to know... Uh, if you're going to make a video on Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, I've been meaning to for a while. I just keep not getting round to it. So, yeah. Possible. It's a, it's a possibility. It's, it's, not a, it's not an immediate one, but it's, it's, it's a possibility, I'd say. Okay, let's have a look see what we're actually taking on here. What we're taking on by the looks of it is they've got a hull cracker, so hull crack's going to be a thing. They've got a lobber, so they want to ideally be at mid and far range. Okay, and they've got a couple of guns at the side as well. They've got just chain shots at the side. 
So my plan should probably be to try and stay pretty close by as far as we can. Drop the acid on them as much as we can as well. And then use one of my sailors permanently just for repairing hull breaches. Because they're all because there are hull breaches going along here. And they've got oh okay, hang on, there's I think we might be able to take out one of their crew members right now. And boom! I hope we just actually managed to successfully snipe one of them. I'm not sure. I think we might have been lucky enough to do that. Now, you, my good man, need to get over here. And my cannons, for the moment at least, we've got like all the guns actually primed. So we're okay. As long as we stay close. We're doing more damage to them than they are doing to us. We're actually having an easier time right here than we were in the last point. So let's just drop some acid on those guys over there. See if we can just kind of counter that a little bit. Oh dear, I think they're sending over three borders at once. Which is, and I also just failed a brace test. So, um, things are about to start getting messy. Because, okay, we've got a man overboard. It is one of our gunners. The captain needs to fight. Oh dear. And he's he's kind of stuck on his own by the time being... Oh, the cap... Oh, flip. There's the sailors just completely... Okay. The captain... The flipping borders came at the exact same time as a flipping... Oh, they've straight up... They've absolutely nailed one of them. Okay, I need to get this guy up. We're probably about to lose crew. This is where it all goes wrong. Because I failed the brace test, now those guys have been able to kill... Who have we just lost here straight away? We just need to basically... I think we need to... Okay. Pull the fight away from them, because that guy's about to explode, like they flipping do. The captain's badly damaged, so he needs to get over here. And ideally, perfect world, stabilise. No, he wasn't able to stabilise that guy. You need to help that guy over here. If we're lucky, I think we've just lost... Uh, I think we've lost more people. You need to, need to retreat. No, we've, we've lost like half the crew immediately to their flipping borders. We can take out the rest of them now. But now, okay. We're down to half the crew. Um, I think immediately. We might be able to stabilize this guy if we're really lucky. It's gonna be... Come on, stabilize him, stabilize him, stabilize him. Okay, we got him stabilized. We're not the other one. Okay, I think we got four crew members up and about. But we've lost... I think we've lost... We've lost one sailor. Actually, we've lost both our sailors. We actually do appear to still have both our gunners, which is good. The problem is now we're taking on water fast and there's acid around uh we need to back the hell off actually they've got a lobber oh no wonder they've done what they've done they've managed to get their really super awesome when it's a long range gun to long range by virtue of sending over all these guys simultaneously okay i need to get one of you guys over here are you actually up to strength you just need to okay patch patch everything oh flip they've also got a sniper of some description pump water i'm aware we need to pump water um Okay, you are now standing on fire, I think. You need to get over here. You are... I think that guy just... Oh, I think another guy just got sniped. I think a sniper rifle just took out another guy. We're down to three at this point. My captain is just kind of trying to keep some light fire on them. This guy just needs to basically get some hull breaks under control. One guy's working on pumping. Another guy's just working on that. They're just putting some light taps on us for the time being. Okay, get over here. Hit that. Get that down. You get the fires under control. I just need to brace, 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 brace. We got the brace that time. We got the brace check. Okay. And the brace, actually the tidal wave will put out the fires. Okay. That actually just works to our advantage. We've stabilized. We do not have any more breaches. This guy can pump some water. Let's get back on the guns over here. And now, as soon as we actually get that, I'm, I'm pretty happy just to stay at... Ah, the ship's will is unmanned. Okay, let's just get water down a little bit. Yeah, they've got a flipping sniper rifle, which is very annoying. Uh, you, just for the moment, get over to the med bay and just heal yourself. We may as well just make sure we're stabilised here. Right, that's down to half water. Uh, you get over there and just... Oh, flip, there's now... There's, I think they just dropped her. Ah, I think they've got one of those things I had last playthrough, where they've got one of the mortars that does really high damage. And they've totally got a sniper that can just knock you off your feet, which is very irritating. Right, just get over here prepare for that. The sails are pretty screwed. Captain, work on repairing because you can repair. Get the sails back up and operational. You, get back over here. Are we gaining water right now? I do not believe we are. Uh, let's get the maneuver bar back into good shape. Okay, gunner, just, just get this, okay, just get the sails back up and running. If we can get the sails actually back up and running, we should be I'm going to say that. They are just knackering the flipping sails over and over and over. They know exactly what they want to do. They're using snipers to take out my men before they can repair the sails. 
I need to leave one guy on cannons just for the sake of actually just providing some supporting fire. I'm just going to lay down some rough supporting fire on where I know the sniper is coming from. That will help. Uh, so just brace. get over there. Oh, thank you. Brace, brace, brace. Hopefully, I'd like to think they might fail the brace test at some point. That'd be great fun. Water is under control for the time being. Uh, we've nearly got the flipping sails back up to yellow. Uh, but I suspect that's just more... Yeah, it's more flipping fire coming in. They've just managed to hit that guy. I've actually got a full flipping bar of maneuverability. But until I'm up to close, I can't initiate a ram. And I think a ram is my best bet at this point. We are now leaking in multiple different areas. And the maneuver bar... Actually, I need to get this guy off that. Because there's no point in him being there for the time being. Because the maneuver bar... There's nothing going on the maneuver bar. Right, you guys actually get over here. Hit this. You get over here. Get this. That's fine. I may as well get the, the sails. As soon as the sails are up and running. Ouch! The snipers again! Those snipers are brutal! And then in comes more flipping. That's the hull cracker. That's the hull cracker. Oh, water, 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 water. Water is dangerously high. Pump, 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 pump. Okay, Captain just needs to get him. I think we're pretty screwed at this point. I think we're pretty bloody screwed. I... It was just... It was really unlucky that they decided the exact moment they wanted to send three boarders simultaneously when, was when I had someone overboard. I should have actually just sacrificed them. I should have sacrificed the person overboard and had the person who was holding them out actually just go and help. Then maybe I'd have only lost one person rather than two. And then immediately afterwards a third. Okay, get over here. I need this. We, we just can't get that working. I just need you on the cannons. Ign okay, ignore, ignore that thing. Ignore that. Just keep laying down supporting fire. As well as you can. The one advantage we've got is. They are mostly about providing like supporting fire. They don't actually have much that can actually do actual damage. So if I could just weather the storm. And just keep my day to day cannons on. I might have a chance. Do we have a lifeboat now? Uh, we do. And much of it's going to help very much to be perfectly honest. Uh, and brace, brace, brace. In comes the tidal wave. I'm hoping they might fail the check. Look at the background there. We're very lucky maybe they'll end up. No, I think in the final battle they're very good at their jobs. Uh, okay. Do we actually have any... We don't have any breaches right now. I'm going to send my navigator just to try and get the sails fixed up. Because until we've got... Oh, we've got one breach. We do have a breach. And also lightning just struck the ship. Because obviously it did. <coughs> uh, sort out the breach. And then sort out the... Okay, leave the other breach for now. Just get the fire out. And then after that stunt... They've just got too much fire and too many crew. We cannot keep up. Uh, as soon as this one's done, as soon as that one fire's done, I'm just going to focus on this. As long as I can just keep two guys on the cannons, I might stand a chance. Because I think I'm actually lowering their health faster than they're lowering mine. Because their guns are not good at doing damage. Right. Just focus, 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 focus. That's a gunner. Keep firing. That gun just basically... Oh, we're... Ooh, I think we're screwed. I just heard the, the bell ring. Which is probably a bad sign. And we've got... No, that's not the tidal wave. We need to get the... The breach is under control. Just keep laying down and supporting fire. In comes some more stuff. Get back over here. Heal up all of this. Oh, we're taking some knocks here. Oh, there's no... Is this when you abandon the ship, John? This is not where we abandon the ship. We die rather than abandon the ship. Okay. That's the whole title of the game, John. But we're... But, 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 it's my ship. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, this is the point where we abandon the ship. Yes, this is the point where we abandon the ship. How do we abandon the ship? Well, using the lifeboat, presumably. I don't, I don't know, know how we actually it. abandon the ship. Oh, great. Uh, whilst you figure out how you abandon the ship, a huge uh, <laughs> shout out to Zykoria, who gave us $100. Oh, thank you so, so much indeed. Uh, yeah, and uh, said, Happy Merry the Christmas, and sent some Christmas trees with their message as well. So there you go. Oh, um, That was very nice. Thank you very much indeed. You see, the problem is, I think what it is, is that what the, what the lifeboat's for is in the main campaign mode, you'll be able to basically, in the event when something like, you know, your ship gets sunk, you can be you can be adrift and then you can wait for a new ship to pick you up. But in this mode where it's nothing but de combat, I don't think the lifeboat does anything. Because uh, you should have sold it. I see. probably should have sold it because I, I can't see any way to operate it because it doesn't like oh. turn blue when you hover. So I think we are going down with the ship and that's happening sooner rather than later, by the way. Um, because we are... 
you just need to basically... There's no way we can get the cells repaired. Without the cells, we can't get close enough to initiate a ram. I'm going into a brace action right now. We've managed to get the brace. If I'd actually... We might have been able to win this had I passed the first brace check. But because I missed that... Actually, they've actually managed to have... They've actually had one of theirs knocked into the ocean on this case. They've lost one of their navigators. Unfortunately, they have spare navigators. <laughs> They've got two navigators. I've killed, I think I killed a few of them. I had a really good start. I had a really good start in this fight because I managed to immediately use the acid bomb and the grape shot to kill, like, I think I killed one or two of them straight away. But just the board has completely destroyed me. And if I'd had, like, if I had, say, um, a couple of marines on board, if I had marines rather than sailors, maybe I'd have stood a chance. But... There's nothing I can do. We're stuck at long range, and their lob shot can just tear me apart out here. There's nothing we can do aside from just continue laying fire. If they get one more shot in on us, that's it. And I think it's the moment we see the red shot. We know that's going to be the moment it happens. Uh, are you ready to try and repair the sails? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just a... That doesn't look good, does it? No. No. Can we maybe get to the lifeboat now? Get to the Go to the lifeboat. Go to the lifeboat. There you go. Yeah, man the winch. That's, I feel like that he's not, I feel like he's, my captain's trying to get to the lifeboat, but it's like, oh, he did. He actually did. Did you have to run over to the winch? I'm just not sure what happens next. Okay, everyone maybe just run to the winch. Like, faster. No, it was just the captain. Everyone else went down with the ship. The captain, yeah, there he is. Off he goes. <laughs> so long, losers. Have oh fun being God. dead. Oh, my goodness. Shame on you, Isabella. Oh dear, your ca your career as a captain has reached a grave conclusion. No, it hasn't. I'm the only survivor. Every that that's how captains work. Everyone else goes down with the ship. That's not how captains work. Oh well, you know what? That's pretty much perfect. It's literally just coming up to eight o'clock, so we've just about filled the three hours we like to do for the stream. And indeed, I I cannot recommend more highly you do what it says, which is that you can do better. Add abandoned ship to your Steam wish list. Do that thing. Do that thing. Cause it's do you think really... my laptop would run it? I suspect it would. I mean, your main computer would. And you've got access to my Steam library, so you, just, you could just play yeah, it Yes, so I was thinking I might play it next week. I think you could. Yeah, I think it probably would. I mean, if you, the setting, it doesn't seem particularly intensive. You could turn the settings no. right down. Turn the settings right down. My you laptop be able is to. pretty good. Yeah, I think you'd be able to. <laughs> right, so. Actually, Claire. Sorry, over to Claire. Over to Claire. Uh, yes, uh, shout out to uh, Ramham, who gave us... Uh, seven Canadian dollars. Best dollars. 77 cents. Best Thank you dollars. Very much indeed. Uh, and also to Ludity, who gave us 200 Norwegian krona and said, You may have lost a battle, but you won our hearts. Also, shame on the captain. <laughs> uh, and Grey Morality <laughs> gave us five dollars and said, So we're Fallout now in VR. What games would be good in VR? I want Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap VR is actually an interesting one. Um. This might work in VR. I mean, I'd like something like City Skylines in VR. Because, mm. I, I, cause like, being able to basically just, like, walk around and being able to, like, interact with it and then being able to shrink yourself down so you can actually look at the city from, like, ground scale yeah, would I'd be like really cool. Yeah, I'd something, you know, something build E. Yeah. Like, you know... Like, I think God, God Games and RTSs are logical things. Like, I don't see why the, I don't see why there haven't been more RTS... VR games where you can like literally like walk around the battlefield as like a massive god and like you know you can just literally swing your hands to like drag and drop and that sort of thing and then like you know use laser pointed with the Vive controllers to give uh, you know attack move commands and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I don't see why there aren't more RTS um, stuff. I mean I saw someone once made a demo for Command and Conquer VR that looked really cool. Um, so I don't know why there aren't more of them to be honest. There's probably a massive technical difficulty with it like Fog of War is impossible to do or something. I don't know. Uh, but, like, I, I think it would be a good idea. So I'd like to see RTS in VR. Yeah, mm. that makes sense. I'm, I'm very much for building games and making houses in The Sims and stuff like that. So I think that'd be super cool in VR. Yes, I agree. Yeah, because I played, when you when we first got the Vive, I played a little bit with the, the thing where you, like, design stuff in, like, 3D. Oh, yeah, the, 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 really paint, the painty tool. The, yeah, the um, painty tool. The tilt, tilt brushes. Yes, tilt it was brush. really, really fun. That was really cool. Hmm. Uh, and also, Wildcat wanted to know if you gave me many a true PC one after you got your new PC. No, so I, I got I got I got the new the... PC to move over to a two PC workload. Mm -hmm. So while one while one computer is rendering, another computer can be working and recording and editing. Mm -hmm. So and it's and also the other PC is just a lot faster. And we've also moved over to Vegas Pro. 
Um, so we get a lot faster render speeds. In general, like, the first week we've had it, like, okay, it's been a really busy week for Fallout 4 VR, but having the faster render speeds and the two computer workflows has been a godsend. So yeah, it's also... it's basically, like, it just... My, my workflow with two computers involved, where one renders while well, the other works on something else, just makes my life a lot faster and easier. Yeah, because I... My work computer is, like, all right, but it wasn't designed to be, like, the many a true nerd work computer. It's just no. a computer I already had that was all right for editing videos. Yeah. So when we had to overflow on that one, it was just a lot slower. Very slow, yeah. So, um, yeah, and it... That did also mean that John spent quite a lot of time ragging on my computer. Yeah. Which was very unfair of him. Because <laughs> my computer's just trying its best. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Uh, I agree. So, uh, Sally in chat mentions uh, House Flipper VR. I would like that. House too. Flipper VR would be great. I, l I love House Flipper. House Flipper's so fun. I hope I hope they improve it a bit because right now it's a little bit bare bones. I'd like I'd like it to be polished a lot. But if they do polish it properly, it could be an amazing game. Yeah, it seemed like there was a lot of um, it seemed like there was a lot of like m missing stuff. Yeah, like, and it's very know, it's very grindy at the point as well, which is it's yeah. very slow to earn money. So the only way to earn money is to just find the the glitches. So hopefully they'll patch the glitches and make the progression in terms of money a bit more smooth. Mm. And like also like reward you better because I feel like I made very little money for having d done up the house very nicely. So I feel like you need to be rewarded <laughs> a lot more for <laughs> doing up the houses. It was better than it was when I found it. Yeah, that is true. Yes. Ah. Oh. No, that's it. That's it. Oh, sorry. I thought I thought I assumed because I've no, been talking. No, I've been doing super well. Sorry, I thought I'd been doing. I I didn't. I was not. I was not speculating on you at all. I was simply suggesting well, that as as I've been to as I've been talking quite frantically because it's one of those like it's it's got the the nice thing is like it it's a very slow. It's a kind of and I mean slow in a good way, which is it's a very tactical game. Like in some ways, like it's the difference it's got from FTL is FTL you can really feel like you're absolutely knackering something immediately. This game's much more about you skirmish, you pit your targets, you grind it down, you slowly build in your advantage, you take a system out and you take that out, then you push the advantage and you just kind of, you know, it it feels like it's a more slow tactical affair. But it's also to my mind, like, every one of those last five fights felt, like, really kind of fast and epic and different, which was kind of cool. It didn't really feel like after the first few easy fights, there was much in the way of, like, you know, all of them felt very different and the enemy weapons make these videos. It just feels like I, this could be a great game. Like, if they just get the campaign right and they actually get the, the overworld right and they get the exploration right, and that's looking good because there's been a trailer on that already. Right? I think I, it's probably down in the description of this live stream, in fact, because I think I used the, the same links as from the previous video, so it's probably there. If they get that right, this could be amazing. And mm. I genuinely think it's going to be. I think this is... I don't think it's going to be an FTL beta, but I think it like it's approaching that level if they if they get the campaign right. I genuinely do. So, yeah. I say we leave things off there for tonight. This has been... Oh, no, 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 we don't. Uh, just to mention that uh, Sir Roderick Quincy Fon, Thunderbottom, the Magnificent Hiking of Australia, uh -huh. uh, asked in the chat uh, a while ago uh, if we had a stream schedule in place coming up on Christmas. And I know we've had thoughts on this, so I want to... Not you know. for certain. Um, I think we are scheduled for next Saturday at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, we're scheduled for next Saturday at the minute. Then things might be a bit weird because Claire's going to be away uh, over Christmas, which will make things think things a bit slower and a bit more difficult. So I, d I don't know what we will or won't do exactly. And then Christmas and Boxing Day will be like, they'll have like different specials on them. So I'm not sure, like assume it's just going to be the standard for now, which is we will aim for every weekend. Um, I've, I'm dragging Claire back from France to do a stream next Saturday. I uh, booked my flight so I would be uh, here w both weekends. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so we've actually we've actually dragged Claire days, back from her family in France in order to do a live stream, which I feel a bit bad about, but not that bad. I uh, mean, I don't know. It's also easier <laughs> to travel to and from the airport on weekdays than on weekend days. True, true, and true, true. Like that, so, so just assume it's going to be every weekend. Just assume it's going to be like the normal things, and we'll put like confirmations out the day or a day or two before anyway, just to make sure everything's absolutely as it should be. Yeah, and a quick shout out to uh, Thomas Richter, who just gave us five uh, Brazilian reals, mm -hmm. and said, here is for this great game, which reminds me of one of my favorite movies, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. Ah. 
Have you seen that? It's, is, is that the one where Russell Crowe's the singing guy in the French Revolution? Shut up, all right? Stop bringing up <laughs> Russell Crowe. <laughs> Damn it. I, I don't think there's anything in the world that annoys Claire more than Russell Crowe in Les Mis. Well, Russell Crowe in other movies could <laughs> pretty close. You just have a thing against Russell Crowe. I mean, it just doesn't seem like he's really good at, like, acting. <laughs> Like he's good at doing Russell Crowe. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That that's a beautiful description. That's a beautiful description of Russell Crowe right there. That's the so beautiful. Is, I have a tin ear, all right. I'm really bad at music. Even I can hear when he's <laughs> when he's messing up as Javert. Uh huh. That's pretty difficult. And also, Claire has once again messed up her headphones there. Because Claire can't use headphones. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, yes. Do you want to say that final one? Because you do. I have um, to. I have to say one. Hang no, on. You have to say the name of it. Uh, Dietior. Dietior. So they yeah. gave us uh, ten pounds uh, and said, uh, and yeah, no. The answer to your question is no. But thank you for the money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, we will. We will say. We will say. Dear to your exists. We will say. Yeah. Yeah. We will. That seems acceptable. And on that note, we're going to wrap things up for today. Uh, thank you all so very very much for coming. I'm not sure if we uh, in the end did actually have a problem with the the. Um, I'm not sure many other people mentioned after the start there was an issue with the um, sub boxes. No, but we had uh, we had lower numbers, I think. So I yeah. think that's... Well, it might just it might just be because it's not a very well known game, and we played it fairly recently. And some people are like doing Christmas stuff and whatever. I don't. I think it seemed. I don't think we had massive technical problems. I think it was fine. Um, oh, next week we are on Saturday. Uh, I do not think it's going to be Rome because the end of Life is Strange comes out next week, and I really enjoyed the Life is Strange democracy stream last time. That was great fun. So I think we might do that again. For the finale. Democracy. We mostly res- we mostly respect democracy. So I think we'll probably be doing Life is Strange next week and we'll be back to Rome uh, the week after. Because I think actually Life is Strange works pretty nicely as a um, as a kind of a live stream. Because it kind of fits quite nicely into like a three, four hour slot. Um, so rather than being like three or four videos, I think it works quite well as a live stream. And Claire's also about to show me a thing. Thank you very much to Ella Guy Vogel, to Jexton1988. And to Jason Weaselwater. That's just Jason Weaselwater, right? No. What? That's just a different person. What? Okay, thank you very much to Jason Wynn Stanley. Oh, just everything beginning with W is just is just Robin Wizawati to me now. Yeah. It is. It's Robert Wizawati that you're thinking I've of. Got Ro- I've got Robin Wizawater on the brain. Oh, Robin, we missed you. Hopefully you catch this later. Mm-hmm. But thank you all. They're the most they're the most recent sponsors on YouTube as well. Thank you very much to the patrons. We've, we've fixed Patreon so you can go back to Patreon now we fixed it don't worry uh, yeah and, uh, sure you did that single handedly I helped I put a I, we oh, put a lot sure of pressure on we put pressure on them we helped we absolutely helped so we will hopefully see you next week for the Life is Strange live stream coming up later tonight it's Saturday today right yeah we got yeah. Skyrim and Total War Warhammer 2 the Total War Warhammer 2 uh, recommences the main series is back and is back to its regular schedule from now on I know it kind of put a, was put on hiatus for uh, Fallout 4 VR. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it's back to its usual schedule and it recommences tonight. That is momentarily Skyrim a little bit later. Ooh, next few parts of Skyrim you don't want to miss. we got some fun stuff coming up. So, that is all coming very, very soon in DLA channel. But in the meantime, I've been job. I've been Claire. This has been Many a True Dad. Thank you all so very, very much for joining us and goodbye. Goodbye.
Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me.